Well, hello, 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 everybody. Oops, sorry. My screen just needs a second to adjust. I am here, though. Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Monday. Oh, my gosh. It's been a hot minute. Hot minute since I've seen you all because uh, I had to miss last week's stream, but we're here. We're here today. How are you all doing? It's so nice to see you all. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. We're in the um, the cozy survival world today. Uh, I don't have too much to do in the chill survival because right now I am working on a big 100 days video for you all. I'm very excited for you all to see it. So I figured we'd do a little bit of maintenance around the base over here. Um, we are currently working on another project. I mean, we're working on multiple projects in this world. Uh, there's usually a lot going on, but on stream the other day, we were working on a trail rune, uh, over on Twitch. However, I kind of decided I keep it there because it was very, it's been very unhinged and very, uh, chaotic. So trail rune in progress is over here. We'll be back doing that, uh, probably not this week, but next Friday, hopefully as long as my internet's set up, because if some of you aren't aware, I am moving, which is why my schedule is just all over the place it is brutal right now but almost done so hopefully we'll be back to a little bit more of a regular routine um and hopefully we'll be we'll be uh back to back to the good old streams very sleep sleepy somewhat eh feeling need some good vibes oh no azzy i'm sorry to hear that i f i hope you feel better soon i i've been feeling very very exhausted super exhausted lately because of um the move and all that stuff so I, I feel, I feel that, I feel that. My energy is at like, like a 70, per, a cool 70%. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited to hang out with you all today. I've been looking forward to like the streams whenever I can do them. Cause they're just like super fun and chill for me too. You're sick? Oh no, I, I, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better soon. Can't believe that creeper hole is still there. Just covered in trap doors. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna leave it patched like that. It's really funny. It's really random because that was the charged creeper, right? That's why the explosion was so big. Ridiculous. On holiday right now, we'll be lurking and cleaning around. Oh, Fatima, I hope you're enjoying your holiday. That's so exciting. Hope you're getting lots of rest and enjoying it. So, <clears throat> sorry, got to clear my throat a bit. So I figured we keep it pretty chill today. Um, I was kind of thinking about starting a little build project here. I wanted to get like a little bakery started or something like that, maybe in this little spot. I know I have a lot of stuff to detail out on this side, but I was kind of thinking, I already had a palette in mind. I really liked the palette here, and I kind of want to replicate that with like a little bakery build or something, you know? So I think that's what I'm going to work on today. Um, keep it super chill, super fun, and we're just going to vibe. I do need to kind of... Actually, we could use those materials. I need to get a bed first. And then we can get started on some projects. You bought Minecraft for the PC. Can't learn as my boyfriend is having to go. And also joined a sub server for the first time. Oh, bol bolognese for dinner? Oh my gosh, I love a good bolognese. Love a good bolognese. Oh my gosh, I also hope you're enjoying uh, the Minecraft when you get a chance. Joining a sub server, that's always such a fun time. Hope you're enjoying it. What is your what is the name of your second channel? I need something to binge after this. Oh my gosh. I would love to share that with you all. I don't think Stream Elements is working right now. Thank you, Azzy. Azzy's just <laughs> Azzy's just here to to fix what the bot's not doing right now. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So yeah, uh, if you go on over to Drifty2, that's where all of my um second channel stuff is for all of you to enjoy. Artie, welcome on in. I'll be watching on and off while I clean to get ready for my new foster hamster, Olaf. Oh my gosh, I love that name. That's such a good name. Well, good luck. I hope it all goes well. And uh, when you get the when you get the hamster, say hi to Olaf for us. All right, I'm gonna make. First of all, I'm gonna make a bed. I'm gonna make myself a crafting table. I probably have one here. Yeah, I do. Of course, I do. Of course I do, chat. Of course I do. I'm going to make myself a nice little cozy bed. And what I want to do is I want to start gathering up some materials. Now, this is a hot mess. I feel like I should probably get rid of some of this stuff, put it into here. Because it's not... I don't want to just have, like, a bunch of random stuff we don't need. I'm going to use probably warped planks. 
copper, and a couple of these other blocks. So that's actually good that we have all this stuff. It's just, let me clear out the stuff that I don't necessarily need. You know? So let's get rid of some of this. And then rockets can go down here. Let's combine all of these. Let's get these here. I always like to have lots of rockets because I use quite a few. Iron shovel, that was for the trail room the other day. That was really fun, by the way. I had such a good time <laughs> messing around with that. Like, it was so chaotic, especially because I was so bad at it, but it was really funny. <clears throat> so I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. Keisha, we probably don't need. I think I'm going to go, like, the greeny blue copper. Diorite would be good with that, too. Basically, I'm just kind of trying to replicate this palette, but for like a bakery build over there. Just want to get some more of this city done. Did I just put that back? I did! Chat, what's wrong with me? I know what's wrong with me. My brain is at like 10% right now. Stream elements will appear around the hour mark. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's going to be like an hour from now. Like, if that. <laughs> It is very, for some reason, it, it's very slow on YouTube. It takes a long time to connect. I don't know why. Cass, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see you. Also, I had a great weekend. Um, Despite being like super busy, we got a lot accomplished. We have probably about 95% of our apartment packed up now, which is incredible because uh, we're moving quite soon. So the streams, um, if you all didn't catch that, are going to be offline probably for, I would say, like a day, actually, like maybe like a week ish, um, which reminds me, I need to get Internet set up at the new place. Lol, <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Kind of need to do that. Um, but we're going to be moving quite soon. So the streams, I don't know if they're going to happen next week and stuff. I'll let you all know in the discord what's going on. But hopefully we can get back to our regular routine sooner rather than later. I would love to. Um, but yeah, I'm very... It's one of those things where it's like moving is a lot of stress. But I'm also very, very excited to move because I'm just like... Especially living amongst boxes, I'm very over this place at this point. You know what I mean? It, it, you just reach a point where you're like, I am so done with this. I don't want to be here anymore. Uh, let's get this lighting put away. Just gonna try to organize some stuff a little bit before we get started on a project because, of course, it always helps if we keep organized. Copper. I'm gonna need a lot of copper, actually, so I'm gonna grab some of this stuff. Put it in the shulker because we're gonna need this. I'm gonna have to cook a bunch today, too. Let's just move all this out of the way. I was, I was hopeful you would go live. I love watching your streams. Oh, Lorna, thank you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And thank you so much for popping on in. I hope, hope you're having a good one. All right, let's get some of this stuff put away too. Got some redstone stuff that we need to get rid of. Pop that in there. Levers can go in here too. Thought I saw something else, but maybe not. And then nether loot. Oh boy, oh boy. We're getting there, chat. We're getting there. Chains are decorative, aren't they? They are indeed. Lauren, welcome on in. How you doing? It's so nice to see ya. Hope you're having a good one. So yeah, the plan for today, build something real cute and just vibes, chat. Just vibes. You know, I feel like... I feel like we're all kind of starting to come out of hibernation now, too. I don't know about you. It depends on where you live. But the weather's starting to kind of turn around here a little bit. It is getting a little bit warmer. Although this this um, this um winter was pretty dreadful in a way. It was like there was no snow. And I think that kind of made it worse in a way. Because it's like, at least with snow, it's pretty. You have like, it's like a little bit magical, you know. I really enjoy the snow. And this year we didn't get, I think we had one snowfall. And it was just like kind of sad you know it was just like gray clouds all the time so it's starting to get a little bit more sunny now and i think i think uh the nice weather like i'm very much welcoming it at this point because this weather was or this winter was kind of a bust and it made me a little sad overall 
So definitely, definitely looking forward to some brighter times ahead, you know? Apex, welcome on in. Alexandra, welcome, welcome. How you doing? New on the channel? Welcome on in. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. All right, let's get some of this fish in here. I just have one more thing to put away, which is clay. Hello? Did you hear that? I heard that. Yep, there's pillagers. Classic. Classic. What else is new? They can't get to me, though. All of this place, this whole place is, like, gated off, so it's fine. The Darth Maul floor. I always laugh when I see it and pat my own shoulder for coming up with it. It actually looks so cool, though. I love it. <laughs> the only thing that, um... It's kind of a pain right now is that I'm genuinely using the shulker boxes at the trail room build. So I have like a bunch of holes in the floor that I keep like falling into. <laughs> like right here. I'm just like, whoops, whoops, whoops. And I keep falling into them, but it's fine. Yo, these dudes are actually so mad right now and I don't even know where they are. Like, calm down, you know? Where are they? Oh, they're up there. Well, I'm just gonna go over here. I think they'll just despawn eventually. Donna, welcome on in. How you doing? Me, welcome on in. You have a second channel, right? Yes, I do. I have a second channel where I put all of my Twitch streams, uh, the, all of the VODs on there, as well as um, I've been trying out some second content. And haven't been able to do that lately, but that's where at least all of the VODs are going right now. And uh, if you want to watch any of the past stuff that you may have missed on Twitch, Head on over there. Definitely head on over there. There's a good amount of stuff in there and I've pretty much kept up to date with it, which I'm very proud of because for a, for a while, I kind of, kind of lost track of it. All right, I'm gonna get, I'm trying to put a better effort into using lava as like a fuel source because it's just generally better and it's an infinite supply. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best, chat. I'm doing my best. Hopefully I have some here. Oh my gosh, I don't. I need to make like a lava farm or something because I've actually been using it. Wow, look at me go. Well, I guess we're not doing that. We never get snow in Wales. It's always Scotland that gets the snow. Ah, oh. if you do per like per chance get snow, is it like kind of one of those things where you don't have the infrastructure? So it kind of just like really messes stuff up because I know there's some places in the UK where it's like even a sprinkle will just like derail everything. Whereas like in Canada, we we're prepared for it, right? We have like the salt trucks. We've got all of that stuff, but I know snow can actually be pretty bad for some places. It's pre as pretty as it is, you know? All right, so I think I'm going to use a lot of stone and brick, but I also want like stone brick, but I also want to use um like actual bricks. That's the only thing I'm kind of missing, but we do have a bunch of clay we can burn. <laughs> Moon! <laughs> oh my gosh, Moon. <laughs> Okay, yeah, well, I'll make sure I got a soundboard set up. <laughs> Moon, so nice to see you. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're having a good one. Also, Ian, welcome on in. Well, 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 if it isn't Drift in the greatest group of people to con congregate in one space. Aw, Ian. So nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. Jody, welcome on in as well. We haven't had daylight savings change yet, so you're an hour early in the UK. Okay, that's what it is. I was also wondering, because I knew, I know some people, there's also some like states in the US that don't even do it anymore. And I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if this is gonna like impact things. So that makes sense. I find it so strange that um, like for daylight savings, like even the UK has like a different time that your clocks go you know what i mean it's it's just really like very strange to me it's kind of been messing me up though because i'm like um i'm not used to it i'm not gonna lie i'm not used to this time change i slept in quite a bit this morning that happened to me when it switched on the weekend too i slept in and it was like 8 30 and i was like what why did i sleep so late and then i realized the clocks moved i was like oh that'll do it that'll definitely do it all right, before we do anything else, I'm gonna go get a couple more spruce trees and then we'll be good to go. 
Just want to make sure I have everything I need. One snowflake in Germany and suddenly everyone forget, forgets how to drive. Listen, it is that way in Canada too. The first snowfall in Canada, especially because some people don't have their winter tires on yet. Holy. It is pure chaos and slightly terrifying. Oh, uh, block down, homie. How you doing? So nice to see you. You hate the clocks changing? Me too. I don't mind the one where you get an extra hour of sleep, but this one where it's like you lose some time, I hate it. It just completely messes me up. The only reason, actually, the one thing I don't like about the um, one where you get to sleep in is it messes up Ruth's schedule for like food and stuff. This one does too, but at least like she's not anticipating food because it's like she's technically getting it earlier now. But when the clocks change and she has to wait for dinner, like at this point, we've kind of just given up and we just like adjust. Like we don't even adjust her feeding times. Like we just like, if that makes sense. Like if it's like six o'clock is her feeding time and the clocks change, like we just give it to her an hour early because it's just like not worth it, you know? I don't know. We kind of just go with what the clocks are doing. Otherwise, she's like freaking out. Like, how do you explain time change to a cat, you know? <laughs> you can't. So just make it easier for all of us. Still work by Wanda Poppin uh, for a sec to be a menace. Never a menace. Well, a little bit of a menace, but in the best way. Love y'all. Love you too, Moon. Hope work is going well. Daylight savings is uh, dumb. I'm in California. It's too weird. Sun goes down at eight now. Yeah, I see. That's the thing. I'm like the it's annoying because it's like, oh, yeah, finally, there's more sunlight in the day. And then it's like, oh, guess what? There's actually not because we're going to change the clocks again. Huh? Let me enjoy the sun. I've been going this whole winter without the sun. Why can't I have some more sun? Is this a sick, cruel joke? What is this? Oh, clocks changed. I did not know this. So the clocks changed um, in Canada and I'm guessing parts of the US too, probably because we're usually in sync with one another. I don't think they change for UK people yet. And I learned that the hard way because I remember one time we were supposed to have like a bloodlines meeting and I like, you know, set aside time in the day to do it. And I was like, where is everybody? I think I was like an hour early and I was like, what? Where is everyone? And I didn't realize that the clocks hadn't changed for other people yet. So I was completely off base with what time I had to show up. And that's the day that I learned that the UK, their time change is a little bit different than ours. It's a couple weeks uh, away. UK just shuts down with the snow. Oh, I bet. I bet. I mean, like, honestly, even sometimes, like, if the snow is bad enough here, like, in Ontario, like, we're pretty much done for. It's it, the thing is, if you don't have the proper infrastructure to deal with it, it's going to be a, a rough time, right? Even for, like, little sprinkles of, of snow, sometimes depending on the area you're in. I remember buses used to be canceled for school. I always loved that checking. I think it was like you check the weather network when you wake up in the morning to see if your school bus got canceled. Oh, that was the best. And then it, it gets canceled and you're like, yeah, it was just like a full day of being able to like go outside, go tobogganing, hang out with friends. So, so much fun. So Dan, welcome on in. Oh, one more hour of sunshine after work. I mean, at least now the saving grace with like, I don't know, like spring coming into full effect. Like at this point, we're only gaining more sunlight at this point, right? Like, so just like from here on out, it's just always going to keep getting better. All right, where is perfect? I just need some copper. I'm going to start laying some of this out so it oxidizes. Oh. Needs to be full block? Oh yeah, I guess it does. Kind of forgot about that. Huh. I like when it goes forward because the kids go to bed earlier. Fair enough. Honestly, fair enough. <laughs> Get some extra, extra time to yourself. 
cats have no concept of time except when they know that they should have been fed five minutes ago no literally that is that is absolutely ruth like she knows she is just just like so consistent with that she has no idea what's going on in our daily life other than the fact that it's it's dinner time you know and i respect that i really respect that sometimes though she tries to push it she tries to like get us to feed her early or sometimes she'll like try to trick me into feeding her when she's already been fed by big tiny duck and i'm like you're a little trickster you're sneaky so you're so far me and my mister and my toddler had a nasty viral infection then i caught it as i was getting better i got a chest infection and was getting better uh toddler caught the chicken pox oh no i hope they're okay i remember i remember having that when i was younger and it was nasty like it was not fun i hope uh i hope they're on the mend soon i hope they're doing okay all right let's see who tells the sun to go down later or earlier the president <laughs> the sun's like don't tell me what to do man don't tell me what to do yeah i don't like overall don't like it when the clocks change i would be happy if we just like kind of got rid of that they've been talking about it in canada but i don't think we're gonna do it until like other parts of the states do it you know what i mean i don't think we're gonna be the first ones to be like yeah let's finally let's finally stop doing that we never are we never are all right, let's grab these shears and get rid of this little placeholder over here. And I'm just gonna like, I think I'm just gonna wing it with the build. I don't know. Just gonna, just gonna figure it out. Oh no, you got the allergies already flaring up. The worst, ugh. I usually get my allergies in August, so I've got some time to enjoy without them, but allergies are just such a pain. Seems fun to live in a snowy area. Honestly, I love the snow. I think if I lived in a place that didn't have like change in weather, I'd be a little bit sad about it. I mean, it does have obviously does have like negative <laughs> like it's negatives where it's like it can be a real pain to get around and stuff but like generally speaking i love the change in seasons just because it it's fun it is fun especially if you do like outdoor activities and stuff like that i just like find it to be like super just like magical and whimsical you know i've always enjoyed the winter like i like kind of like hunkering down cozying up for the winter and just like vibing and then it kind of makes you appreciate like sunlight and stuff more when you finally get it. <laughs> Did you see a creeper in the library? Let's see. I can free cam. I'm just going to free cam it. Huah! No. <laughs> you know what? This could have, that could have caught your eyes. I always think I see creepers now. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, chat. I saw in real life, it was, it was like an electrical box. In Toronto, we have electrical boxes kind of like chilling above ground but like artists usually often paint them they get commissioned to paint them so they're like cute little areas around the city i saw one that was painted where it was like literally looked like these crunchy beautiful leaves but in my mind i was like oh my god that's a creeper and then i thought to myself wow this is real life like the brain rot is really real for me to assume that that was a creeper what is wrong with me what is wrong with me Nothing. I, I play the right amount of Minecraft, let me tell you. Hello, sir. All right, let's get a little little something something built. So let's go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. I think this will be like length. We'll go lengthwise. Actually, no, you know what? I think I'd like to build it so the roof is going this way. If that's the case, hold on a second. Sir, you are totally in the way. Totally in the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go seven here. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, something like that. We could also do like a little mini like side attachment as well. This will just be like the main shape, I guess. Something like that. Let me sleep first. I need to bring my bed over here. I think there was a decision that this was going to be the last time change here in the US or the next time change was going to be the last one. I've heard about them making that decision. I don't know if it, um, I was, I was also wondering if it was actually like going to be the final time because they've been saying that for a few years where they're like, no, nah, this is the last one. And then it never happens. But I'm kind of hoping they like sway towards doing that eventually. I think everyone's getting kind of tired of it, you know? It's a ghost of the creeper fridge looking at you, wondering why BTD won't let them rest. <laughs> uh, BTD would not be happy if that creeper fridge made it into our new, uh, our new living space. Would not be happy. I had a particular arrangement of blocks at my base on my friend's SMP and it always looked like a pillager out of the corner of my eye. Isn't it funny how like some blocks will do that? They'll like really trick ya. It's so true though. I definitely feel like I have spots like that around the base where it's like, it looks like something. I'm like, huh, what is that? And then I'm like, oh wait, no, it's literally just a build. I was about to leave my house in Minecraft, but then I felt like something was off. When I went into face cam, I saw a creeper right in front of my door and it happens a lot to me. Oh, I'm so glad you caught that. Oh my gosh. Sometimes, sometimes you just get that feeling. You're like, I was out too long or something. And you know what? There, there's a creeper guy hanging out. So true. All right, I'm gonna, I need some mossy stone brick just to add a little bit more detail in this. Working in the rain, yep. Doing a little bit of a little bit of work while it's raining. Why not, right? Why not? What do you think of the new wolf variants? You know what? I'm so happy they added that in because people have been asking for that for a long time. And honestly, like I probably like it's it's not that I don't care about the dogs in Minecraft. I just don't really I've never really used them a lot, especially because there's only one, you know, and I'm I'm more of a cat gal. But now all of the dog lovers have dogs. But also, like, I don't know, I feel like it'll it'll get me to utilize like the dogs in this game a little bit more as well. I'm very excited. I feel so bad. It feels like it's just been like such a long time. A long time coming for uh, people who, who like the dogs, you know? I'm very excited to see what this update is all about, though. I feel like it's going to be a good one. Especially with, like, the trial chambers and stuff. I just feel like there's going to be, like, a lot of really fun adventuring stuff that we can do with it. There's also some cool, like, redstone items that people can tinker with. It just kind of has, like, something for everyone, you know? There we go. Whoops. Just adding a little bit of mossy, mossiness here and there, just to add in a little bit more texture. Once we get like everything else in place, this is gonna look so different. Also, I was kind of thinking actually, what if I did like spruce beams around here? Like this. Your world reminds me of the better Minecraft mod pack. That is a really cool compliment. Heck yeah, that's awesome. I love that mod pack. It's fantastic. I would love to explore it again one day because I've um me and Blockdown did a hundred days on it and it was so fun. I would I would definitely love to try like a mini series or something sometime. I know um the homie Brooke is doing a mini series right now that you should all check out. She's uh exploring better Minecraft, so if that's your thing, you should definitely go check it out. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heck yeah. Need to spawn, spawn? 
mob proof this. Mob proof it. There, there we go. Got uh, scared three times on my world by the same leaf decorations. Me. Me. <laughs> I'm such a baby when it comes to Minecraft. Honestly. I'm always scared in this game. Always. I'm always getting frightened by stuff. This wandering trader is just like... He's not leaving. <laughs> It's a little bit frustrating. You know, I think I'm gonna build up beams here too. Six, seven. I'm gonna go higher with this structure, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So happy we get dog variants now. Me too, honestly. It's just nice that like I don't know, there's just- there's just more animals to befriend. The more animals in this game, the better, honestly. How- how can you complain, you know? Who- I- I can't- I don't know if there's a single person who saw that and went, DOG VARIANTS?! WHAT?! WE DON'T- WHO WOULD EVER WANT THAT?! You know, how- like, how is this, uh, like, this is just an instant W, you know? Actually, I'm not gonna go too high with this, because I think I'd like brick. Maybe for the top floor, possibly? Brick could be kind of cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. I'm gonna get one of every dog when I start uh, Avalos. Avalos, is that how you pronounce it, Azzy? And uh, have a tavern for them called the park, but they're all gonna sit in there and not go out anywhere. I actually love that. Okay, can you at least make like a little garden for them? Just a little garden, come on. Come on, they're gonna itch to go outside. They need a little- they need a little green space. The dogs need a little green space. I love that idea though, that's fantastic. <clears throat> so excited to start a new world in the next update. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be- it's gonna be a fun one. Definitely the perfect time to start a new world. Modded Minecraft series when? So, I did Castaways, which was, um, per I would- I would call that like lightly modded, but I'm also working on a 100 days. It's not heavily modded, so it's not gonna be like crazy mod packs with like a ton of stuff in them, but but there, there's some mods. I don't wanna spoil too much on like what the theme is for that 100 days, but I do have some modded stuff coming in shortly. A lot of it is decorative based though, I would say. Your builds make me appreciate the base game so much more because I'm so used to mods. Oh, I really appreciate that. Trying to sleep. Okay, I gotta get rid of this dude. He's gonna be hanging around all day and it's just gonna keep it like annoying me, you know? I just, I gotta get rid of him. Plus I could always use some more leads, let's be real. What will the purpose of this building be in the end? I'm, I'm kind of thinking a bakery. I wanna go for bakery vibes with this one. <laughs> oh my God, we don't need dog variants. <laughs> Jag. Leave it to you to come into stream just to say that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Dog variants? Who needs that? Bedrock now supports add-ons uh, through the store and there's tons of free ones. We have furniture and extra dogs and cats now. What? That's so cool. Listen, the furniture in modded Minecraft is really cool. It's, it's so good. Two, three, four, maybe we go up four? Yeah. When When is the new update coming out? I don't know. I'm guessing around, my guess is because they're releasing more information about it, I'm guessing sometime in the spring. It kind of seems to be like the theme. It's either spring or kind of like fall. I don't think we're too far away though, is my guess. I think that's good. Rory, welcome on in. How you doing? You wanna, um, you wanna names that sound like classic British pub names, but related to dogs? I love that. That is such a good idea. What about the... Oh man, I, I, I'm trying to think of good names. You know what, Azzy, I'm gonna leave that to you. You're better at naming things than I am. I 
Rose. <laughs> Jody. <laughs> that is the funniest way you can put me yeeting the wandering trader out of this world. That is the funniest way you could word that. That is fantastic. <laughs> Honestly, my patience. You know what? My patience lasted longer than it usually does. I'm not going to lie. That is so funny. Just give me a wood woodcutter. I know. Come on. Come on. You see what the stone cutter can do? Okay, great. Give me that. But for wood, I just want cheaper trapdoors. I just, that's all I want. Like, I don't even need, like, you know, like a detailed spruce plank and a wood cutter, you know, like a variant like that. I just need cheaper trapdoors because you know what? They're, they're a building tool at this point. That's all it is. Just give me that. Let's do mods are my new favorite. Uh, the items are so cute. I don't think I've ever actually tried that one, if I'm honest. I need to give that one a shot. I, um, I've been using a lot. One of my favorite ones recently is Macaw. Is it Macaws, I think? Macaws lighting and, like, furniture and fencing. Very good. It's one of those ones where it's like, these look very vanilla, you know? Actually, I wonder if the let's do, sorry, the let's do mods. Are they the ones that do, like, let's do vinery, let's do, um, meadow? Is it meadow that's also associated with that one i don't remember but if it is then i have done those ones and they're really cool ow i think we also need something similar to the chipped mod in the base game agreed i would love to make like little things like chandeliers and lattice and stuff totally agree with that one all right i think i'm gonna need a little bit more clay just a wee little bit i don't think i have any more in here do i just gonna have to keep burning it, I guess. I just want to craft a fence without filling my inventory. Sorry? Sorry, what are you- Fence? I know what you meant, Blocked. <laughs> just love to tease you. Because <laughs> we both are so bad with spelling uh, via text. Both of us always make grammatical errors. No, honestly, me too, though. Me too. Fences and gates. Why do gates feel like they're so expensive to make? Am I just like being a baby about it or are they genuinely more expensive to make? Wish you could have mods. Honestly, the thing with mods is thankfully there's a lot of um if you're ever looking to get into it, I would recommend like looking up some YouTube tutorials. Uh, to figure it out because I felt the same way I felt like it was overwhelming but once you kind of get the hang of it there's like a lot of good resources and also a lot of good like packs that you could just download instead of like having to make the mod pack yourself we're gonna have real work fusion reactors before we get affordable trap doors at this point it literally does almost feel like a meme doesn't it <laughs> Alicia welcome on in how you doing How come you don't have any cats to repel uh, creepers around your base? That's actually a very good question, <laughs> considering I have... Oh, you, it's not in render distance. I have a whole cat city. And the worst part is, uh, we were streaming in here a couple weeks ago, and a creeper was literally making it... Like, it was just running through the cat city and chasing me. But the problem was I didn't have the the cats were just sitting so they couldn't chase the creeper away and it was like running through the cats like it was a maze. And I was like, well, help me! Help! If I just have cats following me around, I would not have that issue. I, I really would not. I do this to myself. I really do this to myself, don't I? It's just it's just the drift logic, you know? Logic of drift. Why can't you smell smelt clay in a blast furnace, right? You can't, right? I'm not missing out on anything, right? <laughs> but for real, I wish you could. Unless, can you? I just have to double check. I just have to know. Ah! Why not? Why not? This is so slow. I need brick, please. I wish... Actually, you know what? A faster way to get brick would be villagers, right? I really should get villagers who will trade that with me, but I'm just so, so lazy with villagers. I hate doing that, you know? Oops. 
The Vinery and Beach Mods are your fave. The Vinery one is so fun. I really enjoy it. That one in Meadow. Meadow's a great one too, especially because it gives you like two biomes as well. <laughs> yes, we need some quartz fonts too. <laughs> oh yeah, Bakery's another one. Bakery's good as well. All right, well, that's, uh, wait, while we're waiting for that to burn, I feel like I can kind of figure out the roof on this thing. I'm gonna need, I should probably bring some of the stuff closer to where I actually am building, so I'm not running around constantly. Let's grab that. Are you a fence because I can't get over you? <laughs> but, um, that's a good one. That's a good one. Big swags for that, that dad joke. That was a good one. Doo, doo, doo. Doo, doo, doo. All right, let's put this down here and then let's... You know what? Before I tear apart all these spruce logs, I should utilize the stuff that's in my storage, shouldn't I, chat? It takes half a tree to make a gate that looks like two twigs held together with a string and some hope. <laughs> You're right. You're so right. No, but for real, why? Why is it? Why are gates so expensive? That should cost like, I feel like a, a gate should be like, I don't know, like you get this. Hold on. How do you even make a gate anymore? This gives you one. This should give you this gate recipe should give you three my opinion in my opinion that should give you at least three in castaways there was let's do beach mod with the cute floaties yes that was castaways the floaties were so cute i really liked them and then also they had um i think let's do beach also gave you like the cocktail recipes which were really fun as well you can make like a little like iced tea and stuff like that it was super cute Nicholas, welcome on in. How you doing? It's like those retro futurism documentaries they made years ago. And one of the things is the car of the future that has an ice cream maker built into it. And we still don't have that. Yeah. Why don't we have that? Honestly, in all seriousness, why do we, why do we not have that? That is just, that just makes me sad. Think about the possibilities. That reminds me of like, I feel like the 80s was like a time where like a lot of like they made like really weird gadgets you know what i mean i was like watching some weird like historical it was almost like an infomercial but it was made by like the government and it was like showing the possibilities of like a modular kitchen or something from the 70s and they like all came equipped with all of like these weird little stations it was like oh you need a station specifically for like peeling potatoes well we're gonna build this like weird like contraption that will like it's like a murphy bed but it, it, it like comes out of the wall like a murphy bed but it's like a potato peeler that's like built in and like it was just like the weirdest but coolest thing in the world and i'm like i feel like we just kind of gave up on doing stuff like that you know like in the end all of that stuff looks kind of goofy now because it's so like outdated but i was like if we kept being inventive like that in some ways where would we be? Where would we be? You know? We'd probably have like sentient potato peelers by now. You know what I mean? If we just didn't give up the dream of the potato peeler. I don't know why I'm going on about potato peelers chat. I'm so sorry. We should also have more foods in the base game. Agree. Agree. I just like, it's just one of those things where like, if you, I don't know. You don't really, once you have like steak and stuff, you don't really need your potatoes or anything. And it's just like, I would love to be able to cook something cute with the crops. You know what I mean? We should get a crop update in general. We got cherry trees, but no cherries. So true. <laughs> Give me garlic and onions, hand it over. Hand it over. No, literally, I feel you on that. I would, I would love a crop update as well. I feel like, those are like the types of things that I would love to see most are 
kind of just like improvements on stuff that already exists. They did it with the dogs, so I have faith that they could do this with crops and stuff. You know what I mean? I, I feel like I feel like they could do it. And I, I feel like they probably have their eyes on it too. I don't know. I would just love to see just stuff like that though. All right, let's fill some of this in with some copper. Hope your move is going smoothly. It is going very well. Thank you, Nicholas. I appreciate it. Um, we are, uh, we're getting there. We are absolutely getting there with the move. Whoa. What? Oh, the way I built this roof, I can kind of like sneak in like half slabs like this. Well, that looks kind of cool. I didn't even mean to do that, honestly. Oh, I like that. That's that's some good detail. That is some good detail. That was like a happy accident, honestly. Um, but yeah, the move is pretty good. We're like 90, uh-oh. I built this side wrong because this side goes up by one more, I think. We're like 95% packed right now which is so good because it's just like such a relief um because we're moving very soon we just had to pack away some of our food and like shoes and stuff and we're pretty much done you found out you could enchant the floaties wait what you can huh yo oops i didn't have to go down here all along slabs were always in my inventory a gate should be one plank it's literally uh, plank with holes. No, I agree. I agree. You're so right. Why? Why is it such an over overly complicated recipe? I've got to agree with that one. This is one of these roofs where I'm like, I was kind of chatting while we made it and I'm like, what did I do here? I think that's right. Yeah. Time will tell though. Time will tell. I need some more copper. How long are you streaming today? We're going to be streaming for quite some time. We just started. We're only about an hour in, so we've got a couple more hours to go. Definitely got a couple more hours to go. Mm, I should probably just put the copper on the roof and let it oxidize rather than like waiting around for it just because it's going to be a while. So I'll just use whatever I can. The fans that clip onto your hat that keep you cool. Oh my gosh, I forgot about those. Those were, I always wanted one when I was younger. I don't know why I was just like, I need one of those. I mean, I still kind of wish I had one. Oh wait, is this waxed? Uh oh, it might be. Let me double check. <gasps> it is, I can't use that, okay. The waxed stuff needs to go. Okay, that stuff I put away. Whee! Funny stuff are still the cartoons from the 40s and 50s. Oh, like the ones where it's like, <laughs> Like, uh, Bugs Bunny and stuff with, like, dropping, like, anvils from the sky and, like, just weird gags like that. Classic. Oops. Alright, let's fill this in. This is a really weird roof shape with the way that, like, the slabs are flowing. Like the fact that I can place them like this. I did something really goofy, but I kind of like it. It kind of worked out, you know? I'm just going to get these guys now. Oh my gosh, the hats with the straws. Oh, I forgot about those. I always wanted one of those growing up. I wanted that and I always wanted those like gag, like joke gift things where you could like, you know, like the little like joker stuff. Like It's like a whoopee cushion. 
But there was also like the gum that had like the electric shock and stuff like that. Man, I always wanted those when I was little. Never ended up getting them. Probably a good thing I would have been a menace. Cause I was a, I was a menace with whoopee cushions. <laughs> I was so annoying with those. Does anybody else remember those? They were literally called like fart bags. Does anybody remember these? They were literally like a pouch and you would like pop. There was like something on the inside of the pouch and you squeeze it and pop it. And basically what happens is like the pouch would fill up with like air and once it like filled up, it would just like burst and it would release the most like disgusting smell ever. Does anybody remember these? I remember I found one once and I begged my mom. I was like, can I please have this? And she was like, oh my God, like fine, you can have it. And we, we brought it home and she was like, absolutely do not do this inside because that would be so disgusting. So I remember I did it outside in the front yard and it was the worst, one of like the worst smelling things I've ever smelled. It was terrible. I might be onto something with that roof, right? I know the fact that you can kind of like place two things at once is kind of swag. It's good. Actually, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna use some honey to make sure some of this doesn't fully oxidize because I like it when it's a little bit like rusty looking. Yeah, some of those cartoons, Azzy, did not age well. Absolutely not. Wayward, welcome on in. How you doing? The cartoons, which are like ads for the wildest thing, like a car that can be folded so you don't have to search for a parking lot. I don't know if I ever saw those. I don't remember those. All right, let's get these ones. Waxed. And then I'm gonna have to go get some more copper. It's a slow rainy day, so I think I'm gonna nap. I'll leave the stream on for background noise. Have a good stream. No worries, Lauren. I hope you have a wonderful nap. Hope you get some good rest. And thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. For once, it is actually very sunny outside. It has not, like, I have not seen <clears throat> the sun in so long. It was kind of snowing yesterday, too. Not enough for it to, like, stick or anything, but it was nice and snowy. Oh, I still need to fi figure out this roof, too. I feel like I want this roof to kind of, like, connect into this one. That would be the vibe. Okay, this is cute. I like, I like. My seven year old uses a whoopee cushion on me like every day. <laughs> you just have to live with it. If it brings them that much joy, you just have to live with it and be like, oh wow, you got me. You got me. <laughs> uh, you're like this. It's so funny because it's probably just gotten old so fast, but like, like the kid's getting so much enjoyment out of it. So you're like, whoa. Whoa, that was so crazy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's go up. Oops. Like this, maybe? That will connect. Oh, perfect. That's awesome. Nice. So we'll just... Go up like this again. Give this part some height. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Boom, boom, and then something like that. Then we just have to fill it in with some copper and we're good to go. Oh gosh, I should probably pop down to fix that. Just woke up from a nap. Nice, I hope you had a good nap. Used to get them in party bags along with random teeth destroying chalky sweets um, and gum that was legit just glue. Oh my gosh, yeah, why were the why were all the sweets just like so chalky? It Yeah, it was always like random gums and like it'd be like a knockoff of like double bubble. It'd have like a weird comic in it. And then like 
the flavor would get dist like it, the flavor would go away in like 10 seconds and then all of the chalky sweets oh my gosh yes Bilal, welcome on in. How you doing? Oh my gosh, the Jetsons. Does anybody remember the Jetsons movie? That movie, I was obsessed with it when I was younger. I loved it. It was one of my favorites. That was such a good one. I think I I, I would watch it like all the time too, like on, on repeat. That one was always on. It had like a banger soundtrack from what I remember. The innocent times when farts are funny. I I I still think farts are funny. <laughs> farts have never not they've never fallen out of fashion with me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I forgot to fix the wall there. Are you gonna be starting a new world for 121? Or are you gonna continue with the cozy survival? I think I'm gonna continue with the cozy survival. I'm still vibing with it. There's still like so much I wanna do with it. So the plan is to continue with it, honestly. I don't think I'll, I don't know when I'll start like the next series. The, the problem with like starting a new Let's Play is like making that like very tough decision to like let a series go and let it end, right? And it's one of those things where I've thought about it and I was like, as of right now, it doesn't feel like the chill survival is like over yet, if that makes sense. So I, I think it's still, I think it still has some time left in it. Decided to listen to the stream while I grout these tiles. Yo, let's go. I've always wanted to try laying down tile. Whenever I see it in like home and garden shows, it just looks like very satisfying. I mean, I, that's something I would eventually love to learn how to do, especially with like a home project one day, is like learning to do a lot of that stuff myself. But I've always wanted to try it. Did we finish Wingstop? No, we didn't finish Wingstop yet. And then also we got really sidetracked. Okay, that VOD's gonna be up in a couple days and I'm really excited because it turned into the most unhinged stream in the world. So we did Wingstop and then we were like, I don't know, oh yeah, I wanted like big pots for the build and I was like, well, the only way to get big pots is to go do a trail room because I want fancy decorative, like fancy decorations on the sides of the pots. So then we went to a trail room and started digging that out, but it was the most chaotic thing in the world because I kept breaking everything. And that's where we're pretty much at with that. So, oops, I always do that. We left off with, yeah, the trail room in progress is over there. Wingstop is currently being built. Here, I'll fly to it really quickly. For those of you who don't know what Wingstop is, where's spawn, did I get rid of it? Oh no, I think I hit it by accident. Hold on a second. No, that's not what I need. Trail ruin, go down. Home cherry. Oh, do I not have it marked? That's so weird. Maybe I'll, maybe I deleted it by accident. Hold on a second. Zero, zero, oops, zero spawn. There we go. Just gotta go up that way. So for those of you who don't know what Wingstop is, basically it's a build at spawn because I've died a couple times now uh, in this world during like really crucial, important things that we've been doing. Like we were raiding a village or we were doing a raid, sorry. My very first one, I died. And then we had to trudge through all of this swamp. I was so hungry. I was running for my life from mobs. It was pure chaos. So the idea was that we're um, going to build out a spot at spawn where if that ever happens again, which it will, I'll be able to just grab wings, some armor, and then I'll be able to go fly to my base and gear up again and get all my stuff back. So that's pretty much like what I had in mind. We're kind of working on that over stream. I didn't want to kind of like confuse the two streams just because not everybody 
uh, attends the Twitch streams and stuff like that, so I kept it separate. But I'll show you all what we've been working on. I love the trend on TikTok where they would cough to try and cover up a fart and they end up farting really loud after their cough. Okay, I love that prank. I don't know why, it's just such a funny gag and it gets me every time. Okay, here's Wingstop. It's currently being built, so there's some work to do. Ah! It, it's looking good though. So this is Wingstop. It's gonna be like kind of like a little tavern. And as you can see, I already started with the clay pots with what I was gonna do, but I was like, they need to be decorated. And that literally led into us digging out a trail room because this stream is chaotic at all times. We um, bounce from one project to another. Eventually it gets done, but if an, an adventure calls, we can't say no to it, you know? The adventure phone was ringing and I went, hello? Oh, I need to dig out an entire trail room just to get one shard that nobody's gonna notice? Okay, don't mind if I do. So that's what we ended up doing. The Magic School Bus was definitely my favorite childhood show. Oh my gosh, me too. I was talking about that with my sister the other day. Cause um, she's actually showing that uh, show to my niece now. And my niece really loves it. And I'm like, heck yeah, that was such a childhood favorite. The one that they were like, they like go, what is it? Ralphie's sick. And then they discuss, like they discover what like, um immune systems are and stuff that's one of my favorite <clears throat> noza welcome on in how you doing digging stress with drift honestly i'm so bad at digging out ruins i keep breaking the sus sand is it eight that i broke only eight i honestly thought it was more i've gotta be real chat i thought i broke like close to like 12 or 13. I thought it was way more than that Tiling is fairly easy to do. Just got to make sure they're level and straight. And yes, very satisfying. Yeah, I feel like once everything's lined up and it's all in place, it's just like the most like rewarding thing. I thought it was the food restaurant. I mean, it was in the names inspired by that. <laughs> the adventure phone was ringing and I dropped it and kept breaking it. Oh yeah, literally, literally. <laughs> It was a fun time, though. It was a fun time. Okay, so I need a little bit more copper, but that's okay. We're getting there. This build's going up pretty fast, actually. We've only... We've already been streaming an hour, and I've got a build done. Look at me go today. All right, let's... Oops. Oh, my gosh. Get this across and do the same with these guys. Boom, 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 boom. We got to connect it into here. They'll connect perfectly though. Look at this. Look at this chat. We're doing it. All right, we just need a little bit more copper. I think I burned some while we were gone, right? Pretty sure. I have to check the blast furnace. I watched Little Einstein and Backyardigans. I don't remember Little Einsteins. I do remember vaguely a bit of the Backyardigans, I think. Did anyone else watch a Famous Five show from the late 60s? I don't think I ever watched that one either. I don't know. I don't know if maybe it just wasn't in Canada because we missed out on like a couple of shows. We did get like a lot of the like American shows like, um, what are some like Pepperan? Like all of the, it was called One Saturday Morning, where it was like Saturday morning cartoon cartoons. And oh my gosh, I was obsessed with One Saturday Morning. It was all the good ones. It was all like the Nickelodeon stuff. Pepper Ann, um, Cat Dog, all of that stuff. I was a big Rugrats fan too. Rugrats was pretty big for me when I was younger. I was pretty obsessed with it. It kind of scared me at times though. I remember there was like one episode where he had like 
he, like they all thought that one of the kids ate a watermelon seed and then all of them were like well you're gonna get a watermelon growing in your stomach and i remember that scared me i was like oh guess that's gonna happen to me because i've eaten a watermelon seed before so i remember that scared me but at this point what didn't scare me as a child i was just so scared of everything <laughs> i mean i kind of still am i'm not gonna lie i'm a big baby The Canadian always came out hard on the cartoon <laughs> just now. Oh gosh, yeah, my Canadian accent. My Canadian accent just goes ham sometimes, doesn't it? I can't help it. I cannot help it. Mossy, welcome on in. How you doing? Gotta run some errands, but I'll definitely be watching the VOD later. No worries, Rory. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope your uh, errands go well. We'll catch you later. Boom, 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 boom. Do, do, do. Oops. Oh, no. No, no, no. Did not mean to do that. What do I discard here? Let's just pop this back into place. Grab that. I need to empty my inventory. Do. Da, da, da. There we go. And then on the final bit here, I want to do some slabs across. I'm not going to do spruce trim on top. Oh, I forgot one here. Hold on a second. There we go. Cool. Just need some slabs and we're done with the roof. Started streaming a week ago on Twitch. And I already have 54 followers and an average of 4.5. I'm starting to work on editing little shorts for YouTube and TikTok. I'll be lurking. No worries. And also, congratulations. That's awesome. You're making some great progress with that. That's super exciting. I hope you're enjoying it all. <clears throat> Cat dog, Rugrats. Yes, Ren and Stimpy, Johnny Bravo. I don't know what I was doing watching Ren and Stimpy at the age that I was. <laughs> Honestly, I, I feel like I was too young for that, but I loved it. I thought it was so funny. It was just like so many like fart jokes and stuff. I wasn't allowed to watch Nickelodeon as a kid because my parents hated it. Nickelodeon was like, yeah, I feel like Nickelodeon was like the edgier like type of content for sure. It was like there was like lots of fart jokes all the time. It was kind of nasty, you know, I loved it, though. You know, I actually really love the shape of this bakery, by the way. I think it's super cute. I need to get like a trim across here. I want to get some like um, wool for like an awning and stuff. But this is like exactly what I had envisioned uh, come to life. And I love when that happens because sometimes it doesn't always do that. Especially when I'm like freestyling a build. Sometimes it's like, I don't know what I'm going to get, but this is it. This is it. And this is lit. Ah. Try to get all this brick back. My mom told me the same thing about the watermelon scared me too. Oh, absolutely. Also the same thing with like gum. Cause sometimes I remember in school, it's like you chew gum. You're not supposed to be chewing it. And then the teacher, you don't want the teacher to find out. So you swallow it. I mean, that can that actually stain? I'm like, do you just digest gum? I don't even know. I don't know the answer to that. I just assume that you would digest gum. Like, does it actually get stuck? Because I remember the teachers would be like, gum will get stuck for 12 years in your stomach. And I was like, oh my God, I am absolutely done for. <laughs> I was gonna, I was convinced I was gonna have a watermelon growing in my belly. Yes, same. So scared. I was so concerned about that like way too concerned it's like those conversations that we've had where it's like as kids like there's like some things that you're so concerned about when you're younger because you're just because you see it on tv like it's like quicksand we, i bet we were all afraid of quicksand when we were younger because we saw it on tv like i had no reason to be afraid of quicksand but i was like i'm gonna encounter that one day and i'm gonna have to know how to get out of there I need to know. I 
anybody watch Ambien Dexter? That show was a vibe for real. I don't think I watched Ambien Dexter. I, I watched um Dexter's Lab, but not not that one. Is it Nickelodeon? Who remembers Angry Beavers? Oh my gosh. Angry Beavers. Da, 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 da. I remember the theme song. I loved that show. That that one was my jam too. My mom didn't let me watch Pokemon. Oh no. Okay, the Pokemon craze was pretty wild in the 90s. I like it took over, you know? It took over. I was obsessed with that show. It's funny. I I never really I'm not really into Pokemon anymore. Like there's so much Pokemon that still exists. But it never really like it didn't really stick with me past like childhood, I would say. I thought the Bermuda Triangle would be a bigger issue back then. Me too. Me too. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. Teachers probably said it probably because they wanted to catch us chewing gum. Oh yeah, I don't think I, yeah, I don't, for some, I'm like, I feel like gum would just kind of like digest, not digest, it would, yeah, it would be either break down or pass through, exactly. I find when my builds aren't exactly what I envisioned, I usually like them even, even better. Me too, where it's like you get like happy accidents happening with builds sometimes. Jody, as if you're gonna find quicksand uh, lurking around London. No, exactly. I used to be just like terrified like that. So funny. I'm glad we all had like very similar fears though. <laughs> kind of validates how I felt, honestly. So funny. Ambie and Dexter were about rabbit siblings. Oh, I probably would have loved that show. Absolutely would have loved that show. Brad, welcome on in. Uh, you revived my Minecraft obsession. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Well, welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good one. I have Angry Beavers on DVD now. We found it at our local bookstore. What? No way. That's one of those shows where I'm like, actually, I wonder if they would have made it to a streaming platform by now. Because some of them like, it depends on what it is, right? Some of them are now on streaming platforms, but oh, that's a gem. <laughs> I was in surgery for 20 years. We never removed any wads of gum from anyone. I'm okay. I'm glad to hear my suspicions were confirmed. So it was teachers just like kind of saying that so we don't chew gum. Oh my gosh, piranhas too. I was really scared of the thought of piranhas as well that was a big one we have um like i know we also have i was afraid of snapping turtles when i was little but honestly that was kind of like valid because in canada or at least like in ontario um there's snapping turtles in some of our lakes and they can actually be quite dangerous because they'll literally like they my i remember my dad told me they could like bite my toes off and I think they actually kind of, I don't know if they can, but I know they can do damage. So they scared me. I was very much afraid of snapping turtles. All right, let's get some fencing. Oops. Boom. Oh, that is gonna go right into the door. That's hilarious. I did not mean to do that. I might have to extend this all the way out, actually. Like this. There we go. Then we can do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Got ourselves a cute little awning. I almost feel like maybe I should change one of them to white instead. The green and yellow is like a great combo, but with everything else, it's a little bit much. Let's try maybe that. Not me eating an entire Mars bar in French class. Listen, Mars bars are the best. I, yeah, I remember. 
<laughs> like just being so hungry throughout the day and being like, I literally can't wait for lunch. And like trying to like sneak food. Oh, that was always the worst. I I would I would do that all the time because I was just always so hungry. <laughs> That's a smart way to label the chest, putting the blocks underneath. It's actually super helpful, especially for mass storage like that. It's it looks cool, too. Oh, my gosh, Max and Ruby. I remember that one. That one was great. I was afraid of fire sirens as a kid, even had nightmares with the sounds of them. Uh, and then I found out about S Siren Head. What's Siren Head? That sounds scary. Whatever that is. I was um. I was afraid of specifically diesel trucks which is any truck that exists on a road because my babysitter told me that diesel trucks i mean like she's not wrong like it's not good to inhale diesel from a truck but basically she told me that if i were to inhale diesel like i, I would just get like so sick and like <laughs> just like immediately die or well, that's how i that's how my brain perceived it as a child so I remember like walking down the road and literally like being like diesel trucks. I can't go near one. A little bit hard when uh, you live in just, you know, society where they're everywhere. <laughs> that that was a that was a pretty big fear of mine for a while, actually. <laughs> just just diesel trucks. The worst part is my babysitter, it's not like... My babysitter wasn't even young. It was like a 30-year-old lady who told me that. <laughs> like, she just straight up just, like, completely scared me. Like, she's not wrong, but also, like, telling a kid that. The kid's gonna blow that out of proportion. The irony is telling students of that about gum probably increased the amount fun found under chests and tables. Literally. Literally. Or chairs, sorry. Chairs. Yeah, having to sit at a desk and then feeling like gum Ugh, the grossest so gross my dad had a pond and there were snapping turtles bigger than tire bigger than tires and one actually bit a wooden broomstick in half okay so my fear is realized my f what you're saying is my fear is realized that is actually terrifying huh Oh my gosh. That is really scary. I'm subbed and so far I'm enjoying the stream very nice. Uh, no, we, we, we keep things family friendly here. We keep things family friendly. But welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for popping into the stream. Okay, I need some glass. Do I need to look this up, chat? Do I need to look that up later? <clears throat> Technically, yeah, exactly. Like, the, the fumes aren't great, but, like, I was, like, terrified. Like, I completely, yeah, I completely blew it out of proportion in my, my little brain. My little brain couldn't understand it. <laughs> no, like, literally, I don't even know what, like, caused her to have this conversation with me. It was just, like, so out of the blue. It was so random. I am, I'm still unsure to this day. Still unsure. If I ever run into this lady again, which I doubt I will, I will ask her. I'll be like, hey, remember that? She'd be like, I actually don't even remember that, but sorry it made such an impact on you. Yeah, yeah, parents straight up lied to their kids during our generation for sure. Or like, like did like, what they would do would, like they would kind of just like say a joke and then we wouldn't really understand that it was a joke and we'd mull over it for years. And then years later you'd be like, I was so scared of this. And your parents would be like, what, really? Like I was just kidding. Okay, I need some more azalea leaves. I'm gonna have to uh, get some trees. Can I drop off some of these blocks I don't really need? We used to have budgies, and when we let them out uh, for exercise, I was petrified of flapping wings when they flew about. It felt like chaos. Oh my gosh, I had budgies too, and like, 
I really liked them, but they also scared me because like they would kind of like fly close to you. And it kind of scared me. Why did we all have budgies in the 90s? This is such a 90s thing. This is a server or did you build everything yourself? This is all, um, this is a custom world that I have built over the course of a year and a half, almost two years now. Thank you, I appreciate it. A lot of work to be done, but this is uh, just something we've been chipping away on uh, over stream for quite some time now. I need to get, hold on a second. We. Chloe, welcome, welcome. So nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for popping in. I need... Uh-oh, that's not good. I'm missing my... Oh, wait, no, I don't have another right one. There we go. Silk touch. Perfect. That's what I need. Perfect. Oh, you're coding right now. Nice. I hope that's going well. We are just vibing and building a, um, we're building out a little bakery today. All vibes, all vibes chat. So excited that we got to fit another stream in before I move. If all goes well with my hundred days, I don't know how much I'm going to get done depending, but if, um, all goes well, I'll at least still have like enough equipment to possibly possibly do a um a stream in this world i don't think twitch would happen because like right now my office is literally f like it's full of boxes at this point but if i can fit in another youtube stream this week because i'm not i'm not gonna have a video coming out just because i didn't have time to finish one up with this hundred days that i'm doing so if if we have some time maybe i'll try to fit in another stream or something this week we shall see, we shall see. Cause I'd like to hang out with you all at least like one more time before I move and have to like go offline and stuff. Yeah, no. All right, I think I'm gonna go to the Enderman farm really quickly, uh, just to repair this. And my elytra is actually pretty good, but I don't want this to break. Let's go over to our, ooh, I need rockets. Love your house, it's so beautiful and cute. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. Tito, welcome on in. Sorry if I didn't um, pronounce your name correctly. Uh, if I didn't, let me know and I'll correct myself, but how you doing? Also, Mr. Stanley, welcome on in, how you doing? We all had budgies, uh, cause we all, <laughs> We all yearn for the mines as kids. Literally, yeah, just to wait for the digital mines. That's the funniest Minecraft joke. It, I don't know why. It's ridiculous. Allie, welcome on in. How you doing? Twitch is always on camera. Uh, I'd be down for a non-face like one like this, but if you really wanted to do over on Twitch, but I get it if not. Honestly, if you all would be down, I'd do a, I would do a Twitch stream if I could. No face cam. I just don't know how the, how well it would do. I've never, I've actually never tried it though. I always do face cam on Twitch. But I, I would be down. Got my daughter uh, bedroom replastered. I keep putting painting off. She has her new bedroom furniture and, and loves it. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. What, what type of, uh, what color are you painting the bedroom? That's so exciting though, getting like new furniture and stuff. All right, chat. Before we go into the end to fix up some of our tools, I just want to take a quick little break because we've already been streaming for about an hour and a half. So um, let's go take a quick little break and I will be back in a quick moment. All right, BRBs.
Hello. Hello, hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Oh, yeah, I gotta drink some water. All right. We go on in. Also, chat, if you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to like it. It really helps out the streams on YouTube. I would very much appreciate it. This jump into the farm always scares me. Whee! I'm gonna mute the um, game sounds for a minute because it's gonna be so loud. So hold on, let me mute it first. Just remind me to turn it back on after. All right, let's repair this guy. There we go. I had a couple of chips and guac for my break. We're at the point of the move where we're, we're trying to eat as much food in our kitchen as possible. So we don't really have like a lot of food left, but we've been, we've been buying like small, like snack like things that are easy just to like eat because we've also packed up a lot of our kitchen stuff too at this point so it's kind of hard to like even cook we've uh we may have overpacked a couple things but we really wanted to get it done so just gotta put up with it you know what is oh it's xp i was like what's that little thing in the bottom left corner that's flickering i think it's just the xp Got me a bagel. Ooh, I love a good bagel. Good bagel with some like cream cheese. Honestly, even just butter sometimes. It's like all you need, you know? The paint is neutral and bedding <clears throat> and curtains will have color. That's the way to do it. That's awesome. That is awesome. Glad I, I'm glad she enjoys the furniture though. Osmies, welcome on in. How you doing? Shaders make it so pretty. Yeah, I love I love shaders, honestly. I don't like I do like playing vanilla without shaders as well. It's it's just been a hot minute since I've done it, to be honest. So used to shaders now. Did I say bagel? How do you all is it bagel? Bagel. I don't know how I say it. <laughs> All right, I think we're all good with the tools for the most part. Everything seems pretty good. How about we head back home? I just gotta turn game sounds back on after. Want to make an Enderman farm, but I'm scared. Honestly, I get the fear because you're floating over the void. Uh-oh. Okay, I didn't hurt myself, nice. Um, But it's like, as long as you're like crouching the whole time, you can do it for sure. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Let's just, let's just put it that way. I say ba bagley, bagel. I don't know how I'm saying it. <laughs> bagel. Milk, milk, you know? Potato, potato. Tomato, tomato. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Your day is going great. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. It's uh, late. It's late over in Asia over there. Hope you're having a great evening then. Thanks for popping on in. Bagel. Bagel. <laughs> Mads, what's going on? So nice to see you. We're all um discussing how we say bagel because I think I say it a little bit differently the most. It's the great debate, you know? The great bagel debate. My mom used to work at a place called New York Bagel and she did uh, overnight prep. She'd bring me a breakfast bagel sandwich in the morning for several months. I miss those. That is so sweet. That's so nice. Honestly, breakfast bagels. Oh my gosh. So good. So good. Can't go wrong with those. 
Yes, my fr my my language is Canadian. So don't you know? So my pronunciation. You say breakfast instead and everyone makes fun of me. Hey, you do you. You do you. Okay? It's okay. I say bagel. Although I don't even know what's wrong with that. <laughs> I'm still a little bit confused. If we're doing a, a cake, a cake, if we're doing a bakery, we need some cake out front. That's why I'm putting like a little display section there. You know? All right, I need some oak trap doors. I'm gonna need some more storage because I'm running out of room here. Okay, I say it like the way you pronounce it in northern states. Yeah, the like, I mean, Minnesota basically has a Canadian accent. It's like Canada 2.0. Honestly, it's wild. They almost Minnesota people, Minnesota, Minnesota people sound almost more Canadian than I do. It's wild. Um, okay. I need 28 lanterns, of course. And I need, what else was I going to grab? Bee boxes could look kind of cool. Hmm. I was gonna grab something else, but I don't remember. Oh, oak. Oak trap doors. That's the stuff. Oh, also an oak door. Oak door is very, like, cottage core, you know? I was a ham and cheese. Uh, I was a ham egg cheese kiddo forever. Sausage always felt too heavy and bacon was too underwhelming. No, I get it. I get it. See, I was the same way with... Uh, sausage like mcmuffins and bagels and all that stuff i always found that the sausage was like way too heavy and now now i love the sausage i think the sausage <clears throat> i love the sausage now i i love sausage mcmuffins and bagels and all that stuff i think they're good i think they're good love the sausage oh my god <laughs> Show me your shader settings. Honestly, it would take a long time to go through them because I really, really uh, did like an overhaul of them. But the biggest thing to do is turn off bloom uh, and turn up your saturation and vibrance and the water. I've gone back to vanilla water with complimentary. I just like having it as vanilla as possible. So I turn off the water settings. It sounds like you say bag gill when a lot of us say bag gull. Bag gull. I still can't figure it out. Still can't figure it out, chat. I'm too Canadian. <clears throat> should I eat a sandwich with chips, chicken salad? Oh, wait. Should I eat a sandwich with chips, chicken salad, or pasta for lunch? You have too many good options. You have too many good options, and I'm going to say... Sandwich, sandwich with chips is what I'd vibe with. I'd vibe with that. <laughs> but also LMAO. Gotta run now, but if you stream for longer, I might catch it when I get home. Hope you all have a nice evening. Aw, oh, Nicholas, thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you have a wonderful evening as well, and we'll catch you later. What does the stream turn into? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can never get my chest organized like yours. Listen, I still struggle with it to this day. I try to be good because it like really holds up um, like building and stuff. I find that if I'm constantly searching for stuff, I, it just takes forever to do things, but I totally get it. I try my best to like just clear out chests once I'm done a project. I think that's the best way to handle it. Cass, we'll see you later. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you have a good one. Did you say Ella Mayo or a Lil Mayo? <laughs> You'll never know. I said Ella Mayo. A Lil Mayo. A Lil Mayo. Never heard anyone. It's become a food stream always. 
always with the food streams, you know? I feel like I could do a little bit of a different trim on the bottom here. Hold on a second. I just want to know what it would look like. Actually, hold on. There we go. This is what I need. Did that go down too far? That's kind of cute. Okay, wait, hold on a second. I need to close my curtains. Did you all just hear Big Tiny Duck? If you did, she says hi. Oh no, I'm on my carpet right now. My chair's stuck, hold on. See, that's the thing about not having face cam is y'all can't see what I'm doing. I'm like closing the curtains and then my chair got stuck on the carpet, but y'all can't see it. You can only just hear the struggle. <laughs> This chat has become a bagel debate, a debagel, if you will. <laughs> I love it. Honestly, though. An infinite drift stream is 35% food critique, 20% gushing about BTD and childhood memories, and 45% Minecraft and games. I love it. You're so right. And I wouldn't, you know what? I wouldn't change it for the world, chat. Wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs> I'm glad- I'm glad we're all here for it. Do, 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 do. Gonna make some chains. So I can hang some lanterns. Do, 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 do. If you want to learn to organize like Drift, you got to get a bunch of people online to lovingly bullying you into <laughs> tidying up. No, literally, it took, I would say it took like almost a year for me to finally be like, all right, I think I need to like actually organize stream streams. No, my uh, storage streams. Streams are organized. Streams are fine. But yes, <laughs> it took so long. It took longer than it should have. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But we got there in the end, didn't we? Also, like, I'm, I'm like mega, mega vibing with this build. It's so cute. What the heck? This one is a big vibe. Let's get a little light here. Boom. I don't know what I'm going to attach to it. Probably just like, I don't even know. I feel like we need a little bit of height in this area, but I have to figure that out. We have like a back alley here, which is like, I feel like maybe along these walls, I should get like a little market, like market stalls or something. Otherwise, this, this little alleyway is going to feel too empty. So that's like another thing I'm trying to consider as well. This is looking cute so far. Ever wish you could do that one disappearing meme like this with a, a peace sign? Yes, all the time. All the time. Specifically when I'm just like, I've had enough and I'm ready to go home, you know? That would be the dream. How's this looking? Are we cooking? Oh yeah, we're cooking. We are cooking. Cute. Oh, I need like glass up in here too. Oh. 
Alyssa, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. Is Wingstop done? It is not done yet. Wingstop is not done. I vo I um voted to work on something else instead because I was like, I feel like that's kind of like the stream project, especially because it's been so chaotic with uh the trail runes that we've done. If you didn't see the um <clears throat> the last stream, basically what happened was we got sidetracked. We're on like a new side quest because for Wingstop, we needed... Um, I wanted like these fancy pottery shard designs and I was like, well, if I'm, well, if I'm going to build this, I need to have like the fancy pottery and we ended up going on like a huge chaotic mis mission and now we're digging out a trail rune, <laughs> which is like, so not the point of what Wingstop is, but here we are. So I, I decided to just leave that for stream because it's been so chaotic because I'm actually so bad at it that it's like, I was like, I just need to like. I need to keep this on um on Twitch only, I guess. The VOD will be up. The VOD will definitely be up on the second channel soon. <clears throat> but I was like, I need to work on something else today. On the topic of microwave, do you use the numbers or just punch 30 seconds over and over until the food's cooked? Oh, I wish I could answer that. I wish I could answer that because I don't even have a microwave yet. I don't have a microwave. You know what? I've always been nah. I've always been the person to type in like, like very precise numbers though, where it's like a minute and 30 se 32 seconds. And then I always like take, I always open the door before the beeper goes off. That's always been my style. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry. I got to lean back a bit. My tummy hurts. I don't know why. <laughs> Chat, I have a tummy ache. Oh, what's going on? Just a little sensitive. Yeah, my my Twitch streams is just yeah, literally just chaos with drift. It always devolves into chaos somehow. How do you not get bored of Minecraft when you're playing it so often? Because I have a two-week obsession that I just get bored. Listen, I feel that. I That's how I used to operate playing Minecraft all the time. But I think, like, something that really <clears throat> helps me is, like, the fact that I make videos out of it. And it's kind of turned into a thing where I'm, like, kind of making, like, worlds that have, like, stories and all of this stuff. I think I've kind of just learned, um, like... Builds can have like many different types of purposes too. Like I used to just build a starter house, build a mine, and then I would be like, okay, what next? Like I have no idea what to do now. And ever since like content creation has helped me kind of be like, oh, well I need like an iron farm, but like, let's make that pretty. And now I need this, now I need that. Now I need like, you know, a sniffer sanctuary. We should make that look nice too. I think it's kind of like trying to find like motivation for in different ways, whether it's you know, trying to build up an area that's functional or trying out different styles of builds and stuff. I totally get it though. I was, I was exactly the same way. This is looking really cute. It needs a chimney though. I don't know what type of chimney I want to do. Maybe just a stone one. A bakery definitely needs a chimney, you know? That's like a must. Need food? See, I'm like, I had some like, okay, I don't know if I ate the best foods though. I had some chips and guac. I also ate a cookie for breakfast. Maybe that's what did it, you know? Maybe it was the cookie for breakfast. That might've been a mistake. The tummy egg is something I wasn't prepared to have so often as an adult. No, literally same. What's up with that? I thought tummy aches were like, I, like why? Why do I have so many? I shouldn't. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Make it make sense, please. Just woke up from a nap and missed stream last week. Welcome back. Aw, um, Caitlin, welcome on in. How you doing? Nice to see ya. Yeah, I missed, I missed having stream last week too. I was sad we missed it. Besides Calico, what cat breed would you like to have ideally? I like tuxedo cats. I think they're super cute. And they're like, I feel like they're kind of like similar to Calico's where they're very cheeky. I don't know. I think they're adorable. 
What's my favorite color? I think I always gravitate towards like greens and blues, I would say. What was I doing again? I kind of forget. Oh yeah, chimney. We have enough blocks for that. I just need campfires. Give me some campfires. Yeah, I need, I think I need protein. Definitely. We've been eating very bad food lately because we've just been like, we've just been trying to like whip anything up that's like in the kitchen. It's been brutal. <clears throat> Need to get around that. That's looking good, though. Maybe I can do, like, a wall of pots right here. Cute. Could put a window there, but I don't think we really need one. Yeah, I need to have some eggs. I might have eggs after I'm done stream because I didn't have a proper breakfast. And I'm like, I could I could eat eggs any time of day, honestly. Yeah, I need to get some good foods in me. Oh, Stream Elements is here. Hi, Stream Elements. It's so nice to see you. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> Any brekkie gives me a tummy ache I can't eat until like 11 a.m. That's like BTD. She has trouble eating really early in the morning. <clears throat> I find I don't really have much of... I can still eat, but I don't have a huge appetite in the mornings like I used to. The older I get, it's like the less of an appetite I have. So weird. That's something I wasn't expecting. I was like, I thought I'd just be hungry forever. Now I'm not. Fancy that. Adulthood is just being able to eat whatever you want at any time. A blessing and a curse. Truly. So true. <clears throat> but then like, but then it's like a curse because you just end up like getting sick of everything you once loved because you overdo it. And you're just like, I actually don't even like this anymore. I somehow ruined it for myself. I don't know if anybody else has ever done that. It's the worst though. Or you're like, I don't even want this anymore. What the heck? Brutal. Block combos with jungle wood. Ooh, let me think about that. What if I use a jungle wood recently? Hold on, let me do a quick little fly around. Let's see. Where have I incorporated it? I've used it recently, I think. Oh, here, I think. I mixed jungle with granite here, which looks good. It's very patchy, but I think jungle looks good with like spruce. I like it with sandstone. Copper is actually a really good one. I would say it's like really nice with like blues and like the um the sandstone. Spruce looks really nice with it too. Where else have I used it? I don't know. Oh, I used it down here too. So there's like it's mixed with like bottom floor with like ooh brick. That was a good one. Those go really well together actually. And then you can just like kind of put some other like uh, blocks that kind of like have more contrast, like mangrove and stuff next to it. What makes Minecraft fun for you? I think what makes it fun for me is, is just like an open world and you're like free to do anything. The possibilities are so endless. I think like Minecraft is just literally a stage to do whatever you want to do on it. And I think that's what makes it so cool. Like I want to build some stuff, cool. I want to like make like a story or like incorporate some like lore and stuff into a world. Okay. There's just like so much stuff you can do with it. I think that's what kind of like keeps me coming back is it's just, it's just endless, you know, endless opportunity. <clears throat> it's also like a game where you can really mix up your play style. Like some days it's like you could spend days building a structure. Other days you could like be like, I am totally not into that right now and just go explore. You know, you can do like, there's just so much. There's adventure. There's like peace and calmness to the world if you want. It's kind of whatever you make it. 
I always like the thought of eggs, uh, make them, and then a microsecond of disgust before eating them. No, I get that. I've gotten the ick from, like, eggs before, too, and it's so sad because I love eggs. Every once in a while, though, I, like, eat them, and I'm like, this is not it. And I'm like, I hope I didn't ruin eggs for myself for, like, the next, like, five months. Uh, let's do... Anyone have a food they can never get sick of? Okay, I feel like I do. Like, I'm I'm pretty confident I'll never get sick of, like, pizzas and pastas and stuff. But I don't know. There's, like, foods that I love more than anything that I have gotten sick of because I've overdone it, you know? I don't think it's, like, I'll get sick of pizza forever. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that, like, if I overdid it with, like, a certain type of pizza, I'd get sick of it. All right, let's get... Oops. I think that's good. What if I did like a three stack chimney? Is that too much? I don't think so. I feel like that could be kind of cool. I've actually never done a three stack before do that <laughs> stream elements has so much cat energy are you in or out pick one no for real what is it doing literally it, it like pops out it's like hey bye then it's like i'm back i'm back ruth energy ruth was doing that to me all morning she wanted to play but then she didn't oh and then she like wanted to play again but then she didn't and i was like oh my gosh pick one you cat Please. We end up having a good play sesh this morning though. Cause she was so tired yesterday. Cause she, Ruth gets like really bad FOMO, I think. We're like, if we're doing something, she can't miss out on it. So she has to follow us around all day. And yesterday <clears throat> was like prime nap day for her. She catches up on all her naps on Sundays. And we were really busy packing stuff up. So, of course, Ruth couldn't, um, she couldn't have her nap. And, oh my, today she is like, I think she like napped all night last night because we went to bed early. But today she is just like so wired because she slept all night because she couldn't sleep all day. I've never seen a cat with such bad FOMO. It's so funny. Alleyway mini build idea, hot dog stand. Yes, I have the perfect palette for that too. Hot dog stand, that's getting added. Absolutely, I love that. Exploring is more like run around uh, like a headless chicken than intentionally panic while trying my, to find my way back to my base. Literally same, same. Just wing it, that's it. Just winging it. You'll always eat sushi, me too, Azzy. I don't think there's any time like, it's very rare for me to, like, for somebody to offer up sushi to me and me say, I don't want that right now. That's definitely one of the ones that I'm like, nah. Sushi's, like, pretty much a consistent yes for me. I need some more oak leaves. Oh, ramen, too. I'll never get sick of cotton candy grapes. Okay, cotton candy grapes are amazing, but hear me out. They taste like root beer. Agree or disagree? They taste like root beer. I really like it because I love root beer, but to me, that's what they taste like. Can't get sick of homemade mac and cheese. Oh, I don't know the last time I had homemade mac and cheese. It's not often we have something like that. It's not often. I usually have box mac and cheese. I think if I had homemade though, I'd never get, you can't get sick of that. You can't. I feel like I could never get sick of chicken fingers and buffalo sauce. Peanut butter and jelly for you? Oh, it's like Uncrustables for me. I can't, I can't get sick of Uncrustables. 
Yeah, I feel like pasta is one of those ones where I'm like, it's it would be hard for me to like not enjoy pasta. Oops, well, let's get, can I put leaves here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's good. Too many leaves there. There we go. How's that looking? Oh, that's cute. I like that. The The triple stack is quite a bit. I mean, I can have two lit. Oh, I forgot to put a trap door on one of them. What the heck? Tried to like sushi, but the texture, I just couldn't. Yeah, I get it. It's one of those things where I don't think it's for everybody, but... um. Boy, oh boy. I remember like, I didn't like it when I first had it. It was not my thing. And then I tried it a couple more times and I was like, nah, this is it, this is it. But I remember, it, I think it was the texture I didn't really like. Wait, I'm gonna relight this one. There's just too many fires going on right here. So I'm gonna extinguish one. I think this one, that should be fine. Yeah, that's good. Homemade lasagna. Oh my gosh. So good. I love homemade lasagna. My grandma makes a really good one. My cousins actually learned to make it from her and I need to try too because that is a banger recipe. So good. Nothing like home cooked food though. Nothing like home cooked food. Mac and cheese with tons of cream cheese and crispy top. Ooh, the cream cheese. That would be a game changer for sure. For sure. Ooh, anything with rice and veggies. Yeah, that's like a staple for me and BTD as well. We love like anything with rice and veggies. I would say we consume, like that's like a huge thing for us like most of the week. It's pretty much what our diet consists of. Let's try getting something like this. Do, do. Like that. And then... You grew up in an Italian household and yes, I'm tired of pasta. Honestly, fair. Fair. I can, I can see how it would get tiring. I mean, there's days where like... Or some weeks where we eat like a lot of pasta. And like, even we like kind of get tired of it in some ways where it's like the next week, it's like, we're not going to want to eat that. You know what I mean? So I do understand that for sure. I mean, it's the same way with like growing up with like my parents cooking certain meals. After a while, it was like, oh, I do not want this anymore. Please. One thing that was like super huge growing up was like steak. You know what I mean? I feel like I just, like, consumed a ridiculous amount of steak growing up. I bar- like, we barely eat it now. We do a veggie bowl with, like, steak if it's on sale sometimes. <clears throat> but, like, I don't know. I remember just eating, like, steak and potatoes a lot. Now my parents don't even consume that anymore. Even they're like, it's too much. It's so weird. Gotta go uh, for my neurology appointment. See y'all later. No worries. Hope you have a, a good day and good luck with it, Taco. We'll catch you later. Ooh, risotto. Is, okay, is risotto... I feel like we talked about this last time. Risotto is technically easy to make, right? Because I feel like we had this conversation once before where 
it's kind of like deemed as one of those things that's like a fancy dish, but like at its core, it's pretty easy to make a delicious risotto. Because it's one of those dishes that like intimidates me, but I feel like it shouldn't. I feel like I should be able to make a risotto. Am I right or am I right, chat? I could be way off base though. You have pasta for lunch today? Mmm. I could go for some pasta right now. I knew an Italian dude and he hated anything with red sauce. I'm more of like, okay, to be honest though, with like pasta, I like like, cre like not creamy sauces, but like butter sauces and like carbonaras and stuff like that. I think I prefer those. Not that I wouldn't eat anything with like tomato sauce. Of course, I absolutely still would, but... I think I prefer like carbonaras and stuff like that or like a creamy mushroom pasta. Ooh, so good. Mm. Got a little lantern here and we're good to go. A little bit of storage. I don't know what to put under this one. Maybe I'll do like a little flower bed there. Steak and potatoes is a very dad meal. Absolutely. Such a dad meal. You got your steak, you got your potatoes, you got a couple green beans on the side. To be fair, my dad was like, what well, was? He's still an amazing cook, but <clears throat> I just don't really eat dinner at their place anymore. But my dad's a great cook. And I don't think he eats much steak anymore, though, because he has, like, very high iron levels. It's really weird. My dad has, like, extremely high iron levels that he's had to, like, get balanced for years now. And steak really affects him. It really, like, I think it causes, like, a, pro a lot of problems with, like, gout and stuff like that. So he hasn't really been eating that as much lately. And if he does eat it, he finds that the free range like beef and all of that stuff doesn't affect him as bad as like regular steak. It's weird. Mom was a great cook and would have loved uh, re would have loved repeat meals, but nothing was the same because she didn't follow a recipe and she never wrote anything down. So our meals were similar, but not the same. Yes, that's see, that's like one of like the things with my grandma too. Like I've tried cooking with her before and it's just like, it's hard to follow along because it's very much like, if you ask her specifics, it's very much like, I don't know, you just do this, you just do this. And it's like, oh no, I need to know like the specifics though. The specifics please because otherwise it won't be the same i think like my it took my cousin a couple of tries to get the um the recipe for the lasagna down because it was just like literally she was, each time she'd try it it would just be like a little bit different because my grandma's instructions were just like so random where is oh yeah flowers i need lilacs of course You have the opposite problem with iron levels. Yeah, it's really bizarre. I feel like if anything, I have low iron too. And it's just really weird that like, I think the high iron, not that it's rare, but like it is like a really bizarre thing for sure. Let's do a little, one more stock of bamboo actually. I need some string too. Actually, no, it'll stop growing. Has something to do with her liver. Yeah, I think that I think that's what it is, actually. It's like connected to like your liver and has something to do with that. Cause I know he's like had to have like um scans and stuff for the liver. Interesting. <clears throat> uh what did I need? Bamboo? Yeah, 
Yeah, Felicity, we're sending you your good luck, good vibes. Good vibes, all the love. Send you a big hub hugs as well. I hope everything's all right. You could when you cook, you eyeball everything. See, that's like I feel like that's what I want to get to with the stage of cooking that I'm at because I'm nowhere near that right now. I'm just not good at cooking chat. I need to get better. That's one of my goals, especially like with us moving to a new place. I'm like, this is a new beginning, a new chapter. I need to learn how to cook better. My uncle has to donate to lower his iron levels when my grandfather needs supplements to boost his. Okay, Foxy, literally the same. Okay, I thought that's so bizarre. It's the same thing with my dad. Like he, he has to like go to the hospital every like couple months to go get that done. It's really weird. Off to your lecture. No worries. I hope it goes well. We'll catch you later. All right, this is looking good. This is looking real good. I'm happy with this. Let's put some of this here. Home style is all about measure with heart, but if you're teaching others, I think it's important to have precise me measurements to learn techniques and flavor profiles. That's the thing, right? Like, that's what I always want to know because I like, if you like put too much lemon in something, it completely changes the profile. And like, how do you balance that? How do you balance like acid and salt and all of that stuff? Cause I know it's like, a, it's basically cooking is balancing all of those things and finding the right measurements. And once you um become like a little bit better at it, like you can pretty much figure it out intuitively. But right now I'm at the stage where I'm like, me no, no. Okay, I'm gonna try to make a cake. best I can do is top ramen vibes. I feel that. <laughs> Me too. Me too. All right. Let's get... Let's try to bake a cake. I want to have one outside on the windowsill. It needs a bunch of milk, an egg, and wheat. I still have not built a chicken coop in this world. Isn't that wild? I never have. And maybe never will. Taste as you go is the best. Exactly. Problem with that is like afterwards, people who are like cooks, they never want to eat what they made because they've been tasting it all along. Uh, I just need some buckets. Think you're the only one who's hated pasta? Listen, it ain't for everybody. No food is for everyone, you know? Favorite board game, card game, and online game? I would say, I, I'm not really into card games, but board game, I would say I really like Catan. I haven't played it in a long time though. I haven't, I really haven't played many board games recently. I used to play a lot more with friends. We'd have like board game nights all the time, but it's been like a hot minute since we've done that. Um, And online game, listen, I love Minecraft and Fortnite. It's always gonna be Fortnite. I play a lot of that in my spare time. Also, the new season for Fortnite is actually like beyond incredible. It is so fun. Me and BTD want like we want to play it so bad all the time, but we're so busy. <laughs> I wish I could just stream it all day, honestly. Once we get the new place set up, Fortnite. You can always add seasoning, but you can't take it away. No, literally, that's it, right? That's it. You can't take it away, and that's why I get so scared. But then also, I don't want anything to be bland, so it's like, what do you do? What do you do? You can burn cereal, cereal, literally. It reminds me of Homer Simpson making cereal for Mr. Burns, and he sets it on fire. Me. I wish there was just, like, more things like this that I could place down, you know? Like, one cake is awesome, but, like, I wish I could place down, like, I don't know, just something else. Because I don't know if I want to do two cakes. That's a lot. 
A friend of mine who was literally deadly in the kitchen taught herself to cook using HelloFresh as guide rails. I've heard that as well. A lot of my friends have said that too. And I think it's, I think that's like such a fair thing. Like it, from what I understand, it basically gives you like a recipe book, right? Or not a recipe book, book sorry. It gives you the ingredients and then it gives you something to follow along with. And it's like the proportions are there and then you learn to like understand how to cook. I think that's so fair though. All right, this is looking good on the outside. We just need to figure out the interior now. Anyone here like retro games? I love the retro games. I just haven't played them in forever. I used to play like a lot of like Donkey Kong and stuff like that. Even like when I was in college, I would play through a lot of those, like replay them and stuff. It's just kind of been years since I have though. I would love to revisit them though. Oh. Sorry, chat. I'm just leaning back quickly. Oh, gosh. I have a cramp in my stomach. I don't know why. What is going on? Fixing over acidity in food, try adding sweetener or cream. And if it fails, <clears throat> a pinch of bicarbonate soda will bring some alkaline to the dish. Oh, interesting. See, I think I need to like... What I would love to do is learn how to make like creamy pastas better. Listen, I tried to do a recipe a while ago. I saw one. It was like the ultimate like pasta dish and it looked really good. It looked like it was like a red pepper pasta, right? And I was like, this looks incredible. I'm going to try to make this for me and Big Tiny Duck because I should learn how to cook better. Anyway, it was like something that had like red peppers, cream and maybe some onion or something it's very simple and i was like you can't go wrong with that it's gonna be good it's gonna be incredible first of all when i dumped the cream in you got you really got to commit if you're using cream in a pasta and just like let it do its thing and simmer down and i was like this is the end this is just soup now this is awful i had no faith whatsoever eventually it reduced down yay amazing but the ingredients chat they were all wrong they were just not good it ended up tasting like salsa pasta it was not good i mean i learned to at least use like learned how to use cream in a pasta and like have faith and just let it simmer and do its thing but it literally tasted like oops <clears throat> it tasted like a tostitos salsa but in a pasta it was pretty terrible i was a little sad about it but i learned something I learned I'm never gonna make that recipe again. And now I know kind of how to use cream in pastas. Actually, I'm gonna bring this stuff over to our sorter. We don't need it. And that's the lesson, I, the lesson that I learned that day is that recipe was absolutely awful and I'm not gonna, not gonna use it again. Just finished a build inspired by one of your long plays. Oh my gosh, cool. <laughs> Sorry, lost my lost my voice for a second. Which one was it? Heck yeah. I would love to see uh, the final product if you ever want to share it in the Discord. That makes me so happy. Oh, I like that HelloFresh. Okay, it gives you pictures along with it. Cool. I've never used it before. I have some friends that have used it and they've always said some pretty good things, but I've never used it myself. I Google a recipe, then tweak it to my standards. That's pretty much what Big Tiny Duck does too. Cause there's sometimes like recipes just like aren't fully it, you know? You need to eat something more than a cookie. I know, but I have like, like a weird, like it's almost like a gas cramp at like the top of my stomach now. And now I feel like if I eat something, it'll make it worse. Maybe I need some, Maybe I need some water. Hold on. Jody, are you saying me? Me. Drift. I don't know what my body needs. You're absolutely right. I don't. I don't. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know. I'm going to drink some water, though. Hold on.
I need to work on the technique of sauce making. Yes, absolutely. I need to learn how to make the perfect pasta sauce, you know? That's what I need to do. I need to make the perfect pasta sauce. That's my goal for this year. Your love for cooking was a recent discovery. Honestly, see, that's what I, it's never too late. You know, it's never too late to learn how to cook. And that's kind of like, that's the vibe that I want. I just want to like learn how to cook and enjoy it. Cause right now I'm scared of it, you know? And that's not good. That ain't good. I, I need to not be so afraid. Haley, welcome on in. How you doing? It's nice to see ya. What kind of bell pepper product did you use? Fresh peppers? Uh, yes, it was fresh. It was fresh peppers, but they weren't like roasted. They were just cooked down. They weren't roasted or anything. We do make this like red pepper pasta that's actually incredible. That I have learned. Okay, that's one that I've learned to you to make, and it's good. It's basically roasted peppers and onions, and then you like blend that up. And then you add, I think, just tomato paste. And it is so good. The roasted red pepper pasta. But the one that had cream in it, there was something off with the balance of everything. And it just ended up tasting like salsa. And it was not pleasant. I tried, but it was not good. It was not good. It was a failure. You just make cooking up as you go along. See, that's what I would love to do one day. That's that's the vibe that I'm looking for, you know? I'm, I'm looking for... I'm looking to be able to just wing a recipe and be like, look at what I made. Especially when it's like you have like a random assortment of stuff in the fridge and you're like, well, I could make this out of it. It's going to make like a little... Little, like cash register area and then I'm gonna do like shelving actually this is too small I want to do like shelving behind it with like baked goods and stuff I think one block out should be fine something like that yeah that's good and then What armor trims do you have? I have the shaper on the helmet, razor, and then razor. I forget, I think these ones were found in the ocean ruins. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 90% sure. I really like them though. They're super cute. They're like super wavy. And then this one is razor as well. Actually, I don't remember where I got those ones from. Glad to join the stream and of course during the food talk. Heck yeah. Always love some good food talk around here. Well, it's nice to see you. I appreciate you popping in. Okay, I need some barrels and maybe some chests. I've been looking into making lemon meringues. I have uh, chickens and a you have a lemon tree? Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Also, lemons are getting very expensive now. So, like, having a lemon tree at your disposal, very nice. It is shocking to see how pricey they've become. Those things used to be, like, I don't even know, like, 50 cents a pop. Now they're, like, $1.29 a lemon. What is that? Why? Why? All right, this will be all the shelving for all the cakes. Fresh peppers will definitely make a pepper sauce taste like salsa. Okay, that's what it that's what it was. I, I honestly, I bet you're right where if I roasted it instead, it would have actually completely changed the flavor profile and been something more enjoyable because they were just cooked down and almost like mushy, you know? It wasn't great. Was not my best. You think the build was from a cozy fall long play miniseries? Oh, cool. 
Oh, heck yeah. Oh, was it the, the house that I did for the cozy fall long play? It was kind of like um the final house that I made for that series. I love that build. Heck yeah, I'm so glad you recreated it and are using it in your own world. That always makes me so happy. I broke my silk touch pick because I wasn't paying attention. No. Was it diamond? Netherite? What's the damage here? What's the damage that's been done? That's sad. <laughs> Lemon trees are the new infinity money glitch. Literally. <laughs> you, you have literal gold growing in your backyard now. All right, we'll catch you later, Felicity. Thank you so much for hanging out. Been working on a big custom village. Uh, it's epic. Are you building city village or town? We're building a city village right now. Also, big old mega build project. That sounds super fun. Hope you're having a good time with that. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more milk. I'm gonna make a bunch of cakes if I can. Yeah, I still got stuff. Roast the pepper hole over the flame turnover with metal tongs till the skin blacks and blisters and then plunge that in cold water and peel the skin off. See, that's what I need to learn how to do. Problem is though, don't have a gas range anymore. We had one in our old apartment. Um, but now it's all electric. So I'm like, how do you do that now? The razor trim comes from trail runes. Okay, that's what it is. That's what it is. You have lemon, mandarin, and fig tree in the backyard? Oh. You got you got it all. You've got it all. I would love to have like we want like a proper garden eventually one day too. Just to be able to like grow some of our own stuff. I feel like it's super like rewarding, but also, I mean, like you plant like one tomato plant, that thing gives you tons of tomatoes. It is wild, you know? All right, maybe one more cake for good measure. Or two, probably two. Diamond, Silk Touch, Unbreaking, Efficiency 5, Mending, rip, rip, I'm so sorry, I would cry. Losing good gear like that is always the worst. Oh yeah, mining with a beacon, see you start like losing like track, cause you it moves so fast you don't even notice, you know, that's the problem. Beacons are like a blessing and a curse. If you don't have access to fire, uh, you can roast them in the oven. Yeah, that's what we pretty much do instead. We do oven roasted, which is nice. Oh, no. Wait a second. There we go. Should just do this instead. And place a couple cakes here and there. Cute. Look at that. I like that. Now I'm kind of thinking in this section, I can make like a smoker section with like a bunch of like chimneys or something. And it could be like the little bakery station, you know? Maybe we could have like... It's like an open concept like kitchen area that you would see at a store. Something like that can walk in this way. And we can have the smokers along this wall, I think. Maybe also could just put a full block here. Smokers here. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we got this, we got this. 
Get yourself one of those kitchen blow torches. Yes, I've always wanted one of those. Okay, you know what? Yeah, the chef blow torch. You know what? Um, one thing that we upgraded recently that <clears throat> I was like, mm, like, I don't know if this is just like a waste of money. Like, I was kind of like, this might be a little bit extra, but it's not. A microplane. Microplanes rock. We use ours literally for every single meal now, whether it's like grating some parm or like garlic, lemon zest. Yo, that thing is unreal. It is like so handy to have. And like when I, I remember I bought it a couple months ago and I was like, I don't know, this is like kind of extra. Like, am I really gonna use this? Like, I'm not sure. And now we use it literally every day. We also, to be fair, need a better cheese grater too, because ours is like so dull now, but the microplane has been like a huge worthwhile investment. Once lost my pickaxe while beacon mining too after it broke my hand was um <laughs> because John Cena at the Oscars yesterday I forgot about that I saw that and I was like what is even happening what is happening <clears throat> oh yeah we I could always do store bought as well store bought roasted peppers because those are like kind of like preserved in oil right. Microplanes are so good. They are the the greater. No, literally, it's the it takes like two seconds to grate parm now. It is wild. I I'm obsessed with it. I actually am like, where has this been all my life? You know? Where has it been all my life? The only thing is I I like cheese graters for like thicker like grates of cheese, like if you're doing like tacos or something, but the microplane does everything else, you know? The only reason I'm less prone to the bl blowtorch is that sometimes I can make things taste biotiny. Oh, yeah, I get that. I could see that happening. Microplane also makes cheese graters. What? Really? Uh Oh, I keep pressing the Windows button and exiting my game. Really? OK, I need to look at that because I'm now that I've now that I've tried one, I'm like, I ain't going back, you know? Boyfriend's back on playing Minecraft. Looks like I'll have to wait until tomorrow when he's back to work. Get on and play. Oh, no. I hope uh, I hope when you get to play some Minecraft, you have fun, though. Grating your own cheese is underrated. The shredded bag stuff is not the same. It has, like, a weird film on it. it it's, like, more dry, and I think, like, they put something to preserve it a bit more because it's, like, literally just shredded cheese in a bag. It's definitely not the same as doing it yourself, for sure. You can use the oil from the roasted peppers to cook with it. True. I didn't even think about that. That's so smart. Anti-caking agent. So, oh, so it doesn't melt the same. That's why. Does it have that, like, agent on it so it doesn't all, like, stick together in the bag and become, like, a giant clump? I'm assuming that's what it is. Pluto, welcome on in. How you doing? It's nice to see ya. Ah! There we go. Four cakes should be enough, I think. Yeah, I love the microplane though i'm definitely gonna look into getting them like a bigger <clears throat> getting like a bigger grader from them because ours is just so done now it's not good all right i just need some smokers now just some other decorations oh typically it's cornstarch or flour that makes sense Oh, I've leaned up upwards again. I was leaning back for so long. Oh, the stomach. 
the stomach. God. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, chat. I'm good. All right. Now I need smokers. Also acts as a way to keep it from excess moisture. So kind of low-key as a preservative. Yeah, it, it is not the same. I only use that if I'm like extremely lazy. And I'm talking like I've got to be very lazy. Got to make that choice at the grocery store. To like buy it, but we usually stay away from it. Yeah, nothing beats block cheese. You gotta, exactly, you gotta cut it up yourself. Exactly. You know what I really, actually, you know what, we'll do that. You know what I really, um, like though? What was I even gonna say? I don't know what I like, chat. I don't know. Oh wait, yes, I remember what I was gonna say. I am now a mild cheese kind of gal. I never thought I'd say that, but I now prefer mild cheese. We were like getting medium for the, like a long time. Always have like gotten marble. Marble's a classic. But now I'm kind of like, mild cheese is delicious. You know, it's just not too much. It's good. I'm not like, I like old cheddar and like sharper cheddar if I'm like, eating like a cheese plate, obviously, right? Of course, of course. But if I'm just eating a slice of cheese with some like, I don't know, just like whatever with like a little piece of salami, like give me the mild cheese. Kaylee, welcome on in. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for popping in. Hope you're having a good one. It's almost like Drift needs to eat. No, no, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Probably. I like sharp. You like the sharp cheese? Like just like just for like if you if you just need a little cheese snack. That's it, Froggy. You like the you like the sharp? Okay, I, I like it on a charcuterie board, you know? Gimme give gimme give the sharp cheddar on a charcuterie board. But if we're talking like if we're talking just like I want a little slice of cheese throughout the day, gimme give gimme give the mild. Am I- am I just a big baby, chat? Am I in big baby mode? <laughs> Looks at you in horrified Stilton. I'm sorry. See, Stilton's like too sharp for me, I think. That- that's too much for me. Oh, you like sharp drift. Oh, sorry, but sharp drift. Okay, got it. <laughs> Got it. All right. Noted. Sharp drift. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. There we go. Okay, this is looking cute. Can I do like a little... Oh, no, I can't. I can't do a little. I was going to say a little shelf. I don't really have the space, do I? Just gonna have lanterns everywhere, I guess. I don't know. Bum, bum, bum. Me, lactose intolerant. Also, me, cheese fiend who forgets to take their la their lactose pill. Oh no! I used to have a like. I don't know what happened to my intolerance. I was literally allergic to milk when I was a baby. Why? Why can I consume lactose? Or am I just kidding myself? Am I just doing it anyway? I'm probably just doing it anyway. Let's be real. Not very sharp if she didn't get it. Yep, that's me. That's me. <laughs> Rip. My partner is lactose intolerant, so we eat vegan cheese most of the time. But once in a while, I got to treat myself. Yeah, once in a while, you got you to gotta sneak in a little, little taste of the real stuff. Vegan cheese, I've heard there's like some good ones, but then some that are like absolutely horrifically bad, you know? I don't know which ones are the good ones though, because I haven't really had to eat vegan cheese. I've been to vegan restaurants before, but 
It's been a hot minute since I've had like vegan cheese. Ah, there's the wool. get some carpet I think it just needs some like paintings and stuff like that you know but we're like pretty much done paintings and flower pots would be nice maybe I'll get some green in here too mood time place and occasion are the key things for cheese for me listen I think I under I think I've got what you're like putting down where it's like like you're not gonna just randomly out of nowhere take a piece of blue cheese out of the fridge and consume that like there's a time and place to eat that whereas like yeah like some other type of cheese like a mild cheese you're like i'm not eating that on a charcuterie board i think you're so right it's just like it's all scenario based like all cheese is pretty much good like there's some that i'm not really a fan of but like most of them are scenario based You're absolutely doing it anyway. Didn't realize I was lactose intolerant until my 30s, but I've always had the runs after cheese. Oh no, brutal, brutal. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know. Like, I feel like mine kind of didn't necessarily like disappear, but I'm not as like sensitive to it as I was when I was like a kid. It's really weird. Not sure what happened there. Any more bricks? I had a vegan mac and cheese a while ago. I couldn't even tell it was vegan. Like, no joke. I asked, asked the host what type of cheese it was to remake it. Okay, yeah, there's some that are, like, I find that, like, vegan choices have gotten so much significantly, like, better. Because I've had some stuff where it's, like, you know, like, the vegan burgers and stuff like that. And I'm like, this ain't great. Like, I might as well just eat a veggie burger. You know what I mean? But... There's better options now. I find that they're like, a lot of the options are starting to taste like closer to what the actual thing would taste like. Ooh, bread and cake and item frames. Yes, definitely. Definitely. The time is all the time and the place is everywhere. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I am a big, I consume a lot of cheese. But I will not cons I, I wouldn't just, I don't know if I'd consume, actually, I'm not even a fan of blue cheese though. So that's not really fair for me to say. Blue cheese ain't it for me. Even with like wings, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I've tried so many times that I just can't. It ain't for me, chat. Wait, you have to let the, you have to like kind of cook blue cheese so the flavor develops? Is that a thing? Is it better like kind of warm? Cause I know like a lot of people put it on like pa or not pastas, on salads and it's usually crumbled. Is that not the way, is that not the way to do it chat? Is that not the way to do it? continues to look at you disappointed and stilton i am sorry i am sorry <laughs> my cheese my cheese opinions are just not it today cashew cheese and peanut cheese are really good i i could see the cashew one being really good because i find that cashew ice cream is like comparable to like regular ice cream you know what i mean i really like cashew ice cream the ones that are kind of like soy based, not really a fan. I find that those ones are kind of like lacking, but cashew is some good stuff. Mm, how do I make the big flower pot? Oh, there we go. Easier than I thought. My daughter was allergic to cow's milk when she was a baby, but is okay with it now. Weird. So it's the same thing that I had. 
so strange. It just like kind of like over the years just le legitimately went away. Like it used to like upset me so, so much and now I'm just like totally fine. Oh, it just needs to be eaten room temperature. I see. I see. I thought I thought like it was like it need to be like um like almost melted. I see. I don't like blue cheese, but I don't mind if it made it into an Alfredo. Okay, Froggy, same. Same. Like, I don't think I like it when it's, like, kind of, like, the star of of the show. You know what I mean? Like, if you're dipping wings in blue cheese, that's, like, a 50-50. Like, you've got half, half, like, chicken wing, half blue cheese. That's, like, a lot of prominence to the blue cheese. But, like, in an Alfredo, when we were at our friend's cottage, he made a pasta and it had blue cheese in it. And I kind of like barely noticed until he said so. And I was like, oh, this is actually like really good because it just otherwise I find it's like most most often like just too like it just overpowers everything in the dish. But the way that he made it, I was like, nah, this is fire. It is so good. I definitely agree with you on that. You used to get Alf blue cheese Alfredo at your uni. Oh, that sounds good. What the heck? There we go. It's a little bit more blocked off. Vegan ice cream actually slaps, right? It's actually good. <clears throat> I was like a little bit skeptical of it too, because I was like, I don't know. That'd be kind of hard, I feel like, but... People are finding ways just to, like, get it as close to, like, the OG as possible. It's wild. Cute. All right, I need some item frames and stuff now. Yeah, I wonder if I could, like, acquire the taste of blue cheese. I, I almost wonder if sometimes it's, like, I don't eat it enough to enjoy it. Or, like, it's just, like, I'm not eating it with, like, the right dishes and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, maybe one day I will kind of get used to it and have that aha moment where it's, like, oh, I see what this is all about. Because I used to not like olives either when I was, like, younger. And now I love olives. They're... It took me a long time of like consistently trying it too. And then eventually one day, I don't even know what it was. I had this like aha moment with it. And I was like, I actually get it now. I get why people eat olives. Literally took me like years to figure it out though. The frozen blue cheese debacle. I will never forget that. What was that about, chat? What was that about? Blue cheese is a note for you. It's too stinky. Yeah, it, it, the, I think part of it is literally the smell that kind of puts me off of it for sure. Yet you like stinky parm. Same. That's 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 the stink I can get behind, though. Oops. Oh man, I hate when I break the stalks. Yeah, like crumbled over a salad, I feel like isn't too invasive, you know? Or like cooked into a pasta. Just hate cheese as a whole. Honestly, it ain't for everyone. It ain't for everyone. You love olives and want a garden. I wonder what your favorite restaurant is. Oh my gosh. I have not been there since the 90s because I don't I don't even know if there's a, if there is any in Canada left, any olive gardens. The only place it would be is in Niagara Falls, and I don't really go there often. Oh my gosh, I like I wonder if I could I have not been there in forever. 
need some more cakes for the frames. Oh, I lost my buckets. I forgot I used them for lava. My bad. Blue cheese pizza is uh, great. Usually they mix it with other cheeses. Uh, so it's not that strong. Yeah, it's, it's the strength of it for sure. I feel... I'm too afraid to order it because I'm like, I'm not a blue cheese lover, so I'm like, it'll be wasted on me. But like, if I found one that was like kind of not too strong, then I'd probably enjoy it. That's a thing. Sliced olives on pizzas and in certain sandwiches, yes. Whole olives in a salad on their own, no thanks. Understandable, understandable. I'm, I am an olive enjoyer though. I'm, I'm like, put that on... Like, just give me, like, a bowl of, like, warm olives, and I will just eat those to my heart's content. So good. But I get it. I get it. Oh, I should probably sleep. The sun do be setting. My spouse hates cooked parm on anything. It's the foot cheese. Oh, no, not the foot cheese. Not the foot cheese. Listen, I'm I'm not gonna when people call it that, I'm like, I can't deny it. It is kinda it it does smell like feet, kind of, but like I also really like it. <laughs> Blue cheese and olives, it ain't it for you. It ain't it. We finally found some foods that like chat is not like fully in agreement with. Usually when we're like chatting about this stuff. Everyone's like, yeah, I love, like, all this food, blah, blah, blah. And, like, it's rare that somebody hates something. But it's the blue cheese and olives is what's doing it. It's what div it's what's dividing us today, chat. All right, I need some more sugar. I'm going to make a couple more cakes for the frames. Oh my gosh, get over it, dude. You're so dramatic. Trying to hit me too? Nice. Nice try, bro. Nice try. Whoop. Like, if, the, if you're cooking parm into pasta, can they immediately tell? Sometimes I can't really tell if parm is cooked into pasta, though. That's a, that's the thing. I can't always tell. It's like the flavor's like sneakily in there, you know what I mean? Or maybe I just like it so much that I just don't notice, you know? Har. Alright, let's make a couple more cakes. Oh, what am I missing? Eggs! Oh my! I need a chicken coop soon. Also, it would just be cute to have one around. How have I not built one, honestly? Ow. Let's get... Oh. Oh, no. I think I have the eggs over in my other storage, though. Uh, eggs, eggs, eggs. Ah, oh, perfect. There's some more sugar. Cake. Boom. Boom. Still digging out a stronghold. I'm at layer negative 14 out of negative 55. Efficiency nether pick with haste to doesn't instamine deep slate. Oh my gosh, I know. It, it drives me nuts that it doesn't do that. It makes me so sad. You know, I'm just going to put, like, the ingredients to, like, the cakes here in the frame. I think that would look cute. I need another... There we go. I wish you could insta-mine Deep Slate. I really do. Because it, it is a pain in the butt to mine through. Actual pain in the butt. Is there a reason why it's, like, you can't do that? Is it just, like, the idea behind it is that it's just, like, a tougher material than stone i'm assuming that's kind of like the logic behind it
Nearly three hours? Oh my gosh. Holy. I need to take another break soon, chat. Definitely take another break soon. Gonna head off to bed now. No worries. Thank you so much for hanging out, Foxy. I hope you have a good rest of your day. We'll catch you later. Cute. This is looking so good. Love it. All right, let's put that away. All right, chat, should we take a quick little break and then we'll be back and probably finish off. I want maybe like a little bit of greenery in here possibly. And then we'll just kind of like finish this off and just putter around. All right, let's take a quick little break and I'll be back very soon. BRBs. Oh geez, classic. I left my game on. Thank God it was not nighttime. Oh, just stretching a little bit, chat. And then we'll be ready to play some more. Hope you all had a good break. Do, 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 do. Alrighty, let's get back into it. So we've got all this stuff, all good to go. We have an upstairs that I need to worry about, but I'm like, it feels though a back entrance would probably be the way to go. 
I would like this build attached to something though, so I've kind of... Kind of created a bit of an issue with that, but I think we can figure it out. Oh, the wandering trader got your crops. Classic. Classic. Minecraft gods were my favorite and trusted me with the first attempt to get silk touch. Lucky. Lucky. Very nice. Oh my gosh, this scared me. I thought it was a pillager. I'm just gonna get rid of that. You've had your microplane for six years and it's still going strong. Okay, do you have to do any maintenance to it? Because that's what I was wondering. I was like, I feel like this thing will last me a long time, but I also don't want to wreck it. And I was like, will this thing eventually dull? You know, I think it's just fine in here. This is good. So I just need to figure out how to get the upstairs. I mean, I could literally just put a st set of stairs right here. It's not a huge deal. You know? I think a set of stairs would kind of be cool. I can always move these if I need to as well. I don't think I will. Do, 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 do. No maintenance, just washing it. Okay, sweet. That's all, literally all we do is throw it in the dishwasher and it rocks. And I always just like, it's usually like perfectly clean too, which is nice. I don't think I've ever seen any like rust or anything because it dries out. The bottom of a ceramic cup can be used as a honing tool for knives. Like sharpening? Huh? Love it when the enchanting table is vibing. Me too, honestly. I find like sometimes I just feel like I have such bad luck with enchanting tables, but then every once in a while you just get an absolute W and you're just like, oh my gosh, thank God. So I was I was really struggling here. Hmm. Actually, let's go one layer down like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably just gonna make this like a little living space anyway. Just a simple one. Not gonna overcomplicate it. Doop, 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 do. Something like that. Boom. All right, now I just have to put some stuff in here. Kitchen, probably over here. Bedroom, probably here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honing isn't the same as sharpening, but it helps. I would only use a professional sharpener if you're worried about dullness. Wait, what's what does honing do? What does honing a, a knife do? Oh yeah, the knife. Do you all have like, in Canada, we still have those like knife sharpening trucks where it's like an old school truck that has like a bell, like a, an old school bell and they like come down your street and they'll like sharpen their knives for you. That's like still a thing here. Is that a thing where you guys are? <laughs> it's kind of wild because it seems like so old school, but it's also really cool. Moon, you're finished work. Let's go. How goes? How goes? I hope work went well. I'm just building out a bakery right now. We're talking about how I had a tummy ache earlier. We're vibing. We are vibing right now. Do -do -do. Oops. 
Maybe I'll do like a little dresser here. Honing is used to maintain, straighten, and align a sharp's edge, which can bend with uh, frequent use. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Like, if you drop a knife, could you, like, throw it off balance? Because I remember my mom, she was a hairdresser at one point, and she would talk about how if she dropped her scissors, it would, like, really mess them up, and she would have to get them rebalanced and stuff. And she always said it was super- that was like the super frustrating thing is if she wrecked her scissors, they wouldn't cut the same until she got them fixed by like some guy who would just like rebalance them and stuff. Yeah, the milkman. Oh my gosh, my grandma's house had like the hatch for the milk. Um, it was like a bungalow from like the- I guess I would say probably like 60s? And I remember it was covered up by the time I was born, but there was like a little hatch on the side of the house that- they would drop the milk off in. In Argentina, it's still a thing, but instead of a truck, the man goes riding a bike. Interesting. And then, like, the toolkit and stuff is just there, too, right? The honing stools everyone has are a big scam because everyone thinks uh, they sharpen knives. They don't. If your knife isn't sh already sharp, they're not going to do nothing at all. Interesting. We just have, like, a, a knife sharpener where it's like you run it through like a couple times I because I don't know how to use the one that's like the stick I don't know how to like manually sharpen a knife myself but we have the one that's like you run it through like um what is it like stone or whatever if you use one of the ceramic rod hones before each use you'll not have to sharp resharpen for years see yeah that's the thing i don't i don't know how to use that one i have one of them but i've never learned how to use them i should get my dad to show me how because he always does it and i'm just like huh what are you doing i always thought it looked cool when he did that like he's got like he's like so swaggy when he does it Those run-through sharpeners aren't the best. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, I think I need to properly sharpen my knife then. I kind of had the- I had it like an inkling that it wasn't the best alternative. You know what I mean? But I was kind of like, well, this is all I have and this is all I know how to do. But... I do have the other one, so I should probably just learn, honestly. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to wreck it either. I can put this bed away now. Surely. There we go. Sabering a wine bottle. Oh my gosh. I've seen like videos of people trying to do that and it's always just like so cringe. <laughs> um, I'm afraid of... Uh, I'm afraid of like bottles with carbonation, like a champagne bottle. I, I refuse to open them myself because I'm terrified of it just like hitting me in the face. But also if anybody else opens one, I leave the room because I'm just like, it's like the same thing with how people are afraid of balloons popping. I'm afraid of those. Like I'm afraid of one just hitting me in the face. Problem with uh, sharpening and over, over and over is that you remove a lot of material, material for not much return. That's true. That makes sense. There's so much to learn with, like, kitchen materials and stuff. It's wild. I have the pull-through sharpeners. They're not the best, but I don't have the best quality knives. No, exactly. I think if I got, like, a really expensive knife, I would definitely be, like, a lot more careful. But I, I, I would say I have, like, mid-tier knives. Let's get some picture frames. The champagne bottle fears are legit, though. Thank you. They're scary. I just don't want to get, like, hit in the face with one, you know? It's just, like, not what I want out of my day. Like, to be just enjoying an evening and then one of those just, like, hits me in the face. No thanks.
Hopefully you're doing good, Drift. I'm playing Fortnite, trying to get a W. Let's go, Chloe. How's the Fortnite going? How are you enjoying the new season? I hope you're enjoying it. It is super fun. Me and BTD, whenever we had enough of packing, we would take a Fortnite break all weekend, and it was just so fun. I love the new update. I am itching to be able to play more of it, and hopefully once we're done um, packing and all of that stuff, we can... Once we move, maybe we could stream it as well. Kind of hoping for that, too. Let's try this. Gonna make like a little cubby. Oh, wrong side. Let's do mm, that looks a little goofy. What about like this? That's a little better, I think. Actually, you know what? I have a better idea. Oops. Beehives. Let's do that. Good sharp knife is a must have in a kitchen. Dull knives are dangerous. Exactly. If you're like trying to like gnaw through like some food with a dull knife, it can end up being worse than than a sharper knife for sure. That's the thing, right? You inherited a set of Ginsu knives? What type of knives are those? Knife blocks, everyone has those, but in reality, you need like three knives from it. Oh yeah, definitely. I would say the most we use is like the classic, like just the classic big knife. Then we use the smaller version of that. And then mostly we, and then a bread knife. Like those are the top three that we use. We also have like a boning knife, but like, I don't know what to do with it. It's like really sharp and I'm like almost too scared to use it. So I'm just like, we don't really touch that one very often. Cheap to mid-range knife can be better to learn on uh, as I tend to have less carbon in the steel and make sharpening honing easy honing easier when learning. That's true, I suppose. Like as long as you have like a good mid-range, you're and also like I feel like you're almost like less afraid to learn as well. Do you know what I mean? Like if you're like trying to like sharpen a knife, you're not like freaking out and panicking that you're gonna do it wrong. Cause it's just like, well, it's a mid range knife. If something goes terribly wrong, it's not like you're messing something up that costs like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, right? Words cannot express how happy I am to be here. Aw, Moon, so happy to have you here. I'm glad you're off work now. I know these Mondays are always a perfect start to the week for me too. It's just like super chill and just lovely. Especially with all of the chaos uh, that I've had to go with like, that I've had, sorry. All of the chaos in my life right now with moving, it's just been so nice to be able to like chill and hang out with you all. Uh, let's do a couple more picture frames, I think. Do, 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 do. Let's do that, and then, oop, and boop. Perfect. Chef's knife, paring knife, serrated knife. Co okay, so those are, those are pretty much the ones that I have then. Perfect. Yeah, the serrated one is the one that we use for like bread and stuff, I suppose. There we go, that looks good. Back for your friends uh, running errands, what are we up to? We are building out the top floor of the kitchen now. Or not the kitchen, sorry, of the bakery. So we've got a little bakery on the bottom, like this. So this is all done. And then the top floor is just like a little living space that I wanted to decorate. Also, I think I just missed a Oh yeah. 
Huge fan of all of the Greek god stuff. You love the Poseidon skin. Oh my gosh, the Poseidon skin is so dope. Also, all of the Greek god stuff. Uh, Big Tiny Duck's like really into like the Greek mythology and stuff. It's something I've always wanted to like kind of learn more about. And I find it funny that I'm kind of learning through Fortnite. Who would have thought? But um, I have been having such a fun time with like all of the new like um, abilities and stuff like that with like the lightning bolts and all of that stuff. So fun super fun time actually let's do center do, 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 do. knife block sounds like a minecraft block no literally <laughs> minecraft brain rot am i right Yeah, butter knife and steak knives also is what we use, of course. And we have like these like really serrated like paring knives that we use for like cutting up fruit and stuff. But that's pretty much it. Boning knives are great if you like to butcher your own meat at home. See, that's the thing. I think that that piece that I have is lost on me. My dad got it for me. I don't remember why. When I first like moved, he got that for me like a long time ago and I don't know how to use it. <laughs> So it's a little bit lost on me, but I feel like I should probably learn. It's just very sharp. So it's like very intimidating to like to use. I'm just like, I don't want to I don't want to hurt myself. Oops. Boom. Let's get this one. Then we'll meet in the middle with a different block. Ooh, a cleaver. I feel like a cleaver is one that I'd be afraid to use. That's one that would kind of scare me. Or just go full caveman on the bread. <laughs> Jody. <laughs> yeah, for real. Honestly, sometimes I'm like out of laziness. I'm like, baguette? No, nah, I don't have to cut it up. I can just rip it up and then like just like scoop butter on it you know it's fine i could just rip it up my mom's housewarming gift to me when we moved into our curtain place was three really expensive knives three mid-range price knives and six cheap knives she knows me so well see we were just talking about that i feel like that's like the best thing though so you, once you get like the expensive knives you have them once you're ready to use them but there's no obligation to like get started with those knives because it's intimidating especially if you like, I still don't really know what I'm doing with my knives. I'm kind of like, huh? How much riz do you have? Oh, yeah. Like, at least, like, I would say, like, 14, I would say. I would say 14-ish. Mm. Plants. One time when I was at a bar with friends, um, we started casting a spell on our friend who was trying to ask a guy out by chanting Riz. <laughs> don't make, don't make me laugh. My tummy hurts. <laughs> Stop. I'm gonna have to lean back again. I'm leaning back again. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is, this should be peak comfort. I'm like leaning back in my chair while playing, but it's just not because I just have like a weird gas pain on the upper part of my body. It is just bizarre. I don't know, chat. I don't know what's going on. Don't know. This is looking really cute though. I like this. Oh yeah, Elton Brown video or videos. I remember his show. I used to watch that a lot growing up. I kind of miss the Food Network, you know? I don't really watch it that much anymore. But I feel like a lot of the shows have turned in more into like game show type of stuff. Is, or that would it that's what it kind of seems to be when I whenever I like um oops. Whenever I see commercials for Food Network shows, it's usually like game show type things. 
Little trash can. Hee <laughs> hee. There's some sort of primal joy in the act of tearing apart a loaf of bread and handling handing a piece to a loved one. No, for real. For real. So it's like it's got to be like a fresh, like home baked bread, too. You know what I mean? It's still kind of warm. There's just like something so like, I don't know. You're so right where it's like it's like an act of love almost. Oh, yeah, there's tons of YouTube resources, too. I need to use more of those for, like, knife handling and all that stuff. See, we're getting into, like, deep kitchen talk today. It's not just like, oh, what are we eating? We're, like, talking about, like, techniques and stuff now. That's what you do every, um, every Friday for Shabbat dinner. Pass around, how do you say, is it, is it challah? And tear off a piece for yourself? Oh, sounds delicious. You're gonna find a video of the Riz spell? Yes, please. Yes, please. Imagine not having tummy hurt, your tummy hurt could not be me. Listen, I wish that were me right now. My tummy hurt. <laughs> I'm just like in big baby mode right now, chat. It's okay, I'm allowed to be. <laughs> honestly, I feel like it's um it's such a it's such a weird tummy ache. I honestly feel like it's a stress tummy ache. I'm not even kidding. It's just from like moving stress. And also we have not been eating well lately. We've been eating so much junk because we're so lazy right now. We're so lazy and like we have barely any food in the house. Not had a good day until you've torn a baguette to shreds and used the chunks to gouge butter out of the butter dish and eat it while lying on your side. Literally. Literally, though. Okay, I remember, like, when I was younger, it was kind of like one of the first times I actually tried, like, just baguette and butter. And I still remember it to this day because it was so good that it was, like, a monumental moment. And I do remember just eating, like... I must have eaten like almost an entire baguette to myself with butter and being like, what is this and why is it so good? It's kind of wild that that's like a formative moment in my life. <clears throat> this is looking pretty good though. I like this. Listen, I'm like, should I, should I do like a cooking stream one time? Cooking, cooking with drift and ultimately big tiny duck because I'm going to need guidance. Can relate to stress tummy aches? Okay, I'm not the only one. What you're saying is I'm not the only one then. I feel a little bit better then. <laughs> I need to eat proper food. Honestly, yeah, I, I'm going to have like, um... I'm gonna eat something proper. I feel like I'm just not consuming enough vegetables lately. Felicity, welcome on back. Julie, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Your tummy's demanding something green. No, literally. I can't believe I... Okay, this is so unlike me. I can't believe I ate cookies for breakfast. I'm not gonna lie. I I was like, when I did it, I was like, this is not a good idea. This is gonna make me feel sick. And then I was kind of like, I don't care though, because there's nothing else in the house that I want to eat. And now I regret it. I was I was being a silly goose and I paid the price. That's what happens when you eat cookies for breakfast. Cooking with drift, should we do it? Should we do a cooking with drift? It'd be really funny. I don't know what I'd cook, but it'd be something. What would be a reasonable thing to cook on a stream? You know? We'd have to figure something out, but I feel like we could. Time to go to a, do a salad bar run. Oh, God. You know what? I you, 
I do need a salad. I can't even deny it. I like salad though. I'm not like a I'm not a salad hater. I'm a I'm a salad enjoyer for sure. I definitely like a good salad now and then. At least it wasn't sauce soup. Are you talking about my, um, oh wait, no, that was the, that was the, what was it called? The salsa pasta that I made. Oh no, so bad. So bad. Okay, listen, I considered the Pepto-Bismol route, but the problem is we packed it away last night. I literally, you know what the worst part is? I said, oh, I won't need that. And then I put it in a box and now I'm like, I do need that. What was I thinking? What the heck, chat? Why did I do that to myself? That was so mean. What did I need from here again? I forget. I do not remember. Why would I do that to myself, though? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 -mm. Spaghetti would be good. Actually, spaghetti would be an easy one. Cooking with Drift and All Girls stream at the new place. That's what I'm thinking, because we'll actually have the room. Our kitchen's too small. Infinite Drift Fortnite stream win? Oh, Drifty Fortnite streams are coming back. They're coming back. We've got a couple, um, if you haven't seen the VODs, we've got some on the second channel from when me and Big Tiny Duck have played Fortnite together. But those will definitely be coming back because I want to play the new chapter for sure. Oh, adding all the co all condiments into the broth. Listen, I if there's one thing, actually, I, I don't make soup. It's Big Tiny Duck. Big Tiny Duck makes a killer soup, like actually so good. See, Big Tiny Duck has all the talent. But to be fair, I'm just like too afraid to try and I just need to try and like get past being bad at cooking to get good, you know? I literally just need to get good. Ah! Ooh, Piri Piri. That Piri Piri's really good. I haven't had that in a hot minute though. Hey, this is cute. I have way too many condiments. Me too. We have our fridge is like probably like 80% condiments, I would say. And that's like that ain't like that's good. But we also overuse them, I think. Like I use condiments for so many things. Like, literally, I feel like half the time I'm always like, food is just a vehicle for sauce. No. No. I can understand why people are hesitant to practice cooking because food waste is something we're taught as children to avoid. Yeah, it's that and then it's like, once you mess up the food, you're like, well, what am I going to eat now? Now I have to like think of an alternative and it's so expensive. And like you said, it's the food waste. So it's like, I'm almost afraid to, cause I'm like, I don't want to mess up a dinner after like, we've both been like working all day. And then suddenly it's like, well, we don't have dinner either. So it's definitely, you're right where it's like a little bit of like a fear. And I don't want to like fail because I'm like, I don't want to like go without having food <laughs> and have to like start from scratch all over. Soup's hard to get wrong. Honestly, yeah, soup's one of those things where it's like, I think there's a lot of like leeway with soup for sure. I used to make pasta from scratch, but now that wife works at literally a restaurant that makes pasta from scratch, I do not make it anymore. Wait, do you get the, do you get to bring like noodles home or do you just get to eat like yummy pasta all the time? I am so jealous. That's why you need the creeper fridge. Wait, why do we need the creeper fridge? How do we get here? How did we get here, chat?
Yeah, BTD would... The, the creeper fridge is a big no. A big no. <laughs> that thing is not stepping foot in the in the new place. Pasta sauce is so easy to make. It's the first thing I stop buying jar versions of. Yeah, pasta sauce is another one. I mean, minus my salsa pasta incident, for the most part, you really can't like mess it up. You know what I mean? All right, I'm just gonna do a little bit of cleanup because I think we're pretty much done with the build. I love this build, by the way. I think it looks super cute. Just a cute little bakery. We need to fix up this alleyway and stuff because this thing is like super cute. And then you look here and you're like, what is that? What is this monstrosity next to it? It's okay, we'll fix it up another day though. Because I think the plan is now on this side of the wall to get like almost like an alleyway of shops and stuff like that. Just to kind of like patch up the back walls. Because really like what else do you do with the back walls, right? Drift got to be P.O. Box, I would send so much chocolate. Oh man, I'm a chocolate fiend, which is funny because when I was little, I was like not really, okay, don't judge me. I wasn't really, like, really into chocolate when I was little. I was like more of a candy kind of gal, you know, like just chocolate. I was like, nah, I want Sour Patch Kids and like Cherry Blasters and stuff. But now that I'm like older, I like chocolate more, I think, for the most part. Really weird, though. As a kid, I was like, chocolate's mid. All right, let's put all this stuff away. Wife brings home pasta from work all the time. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so jealous. You know, what? BTD makes a fire pasta, though. She's really good at making like sauces from scratch. My other fridge is full of condiments. Honestly, fair enough, fair enough. I need two fridges, one for condiments, one for everything else. And then that one will eventually be full of condiments too. If you're in my city, I'll treat you and BTD to a dinner at the restaurant. Oh, that's so sweet. What type of, is it just like really good, like traditional like pastas? Got like some carbonaras, some like truffle pastas. So sweet. Azzy too. Aw, I love that. My mom hates food waste, so I was forced to eat more than I wanted to all the time. My kids wouldn't have that problem, though. They can eat as much or as little as they want. Yeah, my mom wouldn't, like, luckily my mom wouldn't force, like, food on us, really. Same with my dad. Like, my dad would, I feel like my dad would feel a little sad if we didn't eat because he cooked in the family. And he'd be like, how come you don't want it? And my mom would just be like, dude, like, I eat... They always said I ate like a bird because I always ate small amounts. I was I was way more into just like, I don't know, kind of like snacking on stuff through the day. So I hated eating big meals at night. But luckily my parents like kind of understood that. Sour candy, exactly. You gotta get, okay, you know what we've been doing? We have been putting, we got these like sour watermelons, like May Maynard's ones. I put them in the fridge and then I thought I was like, oh no, these are gonna be rock hard, but they're not. They're just like, it kind of like creates like a hard shell on the outside and then they kind of like melt a bit. It It's so good. So good chat. Oh my gosh. Those are like one of my favorite candies though. You were always the savory kid. What savory kid wasn't into chocolate at all. Yes, you get it. You get it. Yeah, it's just one of those things where I'm like, and wasn't, I don't know. The the chocolate just wasn't always my vibe. What's your favorite uh, farm to build in Minecraft? Maybe fave manual and then auto farms? I would say favorite manual type of farm. I don't know. I always like, I like like literally like crop farms and like wheat fields and stuff because they're also like aesthetically nice too. But I would say for types of farms to build, I'm I don't really know how to build farms that well. So I like to stick to what I know with like, I enjoy sugarcane farms. I find wool farms fun to build as long as the sheep don't cause any trouble. But I really like building them with like the rail system underneath now that I've learned how to do that. I eat sour Skittles until my mouth bleeds. No, literally, I have absolutely done that before. <laughs> sour Skittles are like, oh my God, even thinking about it, it like makes your mouth 
it like gives you that sour feeling they're so good though send you their instagram heck yeah their menu is always changing curtain seasonal fave is uh saffron ricotta cusini a stuffed pasta with hot honey and sage butter okay stop that sounds so good oh my gosh see that's like one thing i'm sad about leaving the city i'm like i'm leaving a lot of good pasta i'm leaving a lot of good pasta chat and it's making me a little sad because i love a good pasta Oh, salt and vinegar chips. Yeah, that's the same thing too. They like shred your mouth, but you're just like, I don't even care. I don't even care. That happened to me last week actually, because we bought some and I was so hungry and I saw them and I was like, I'm gonna eat these for lunch, but they were the only thing I ate. And I like crushed the rest of the bag. Big mistake, my mouth was on fire. Oh my gosh, airheads. I forgot about airheads. I love airheads. Those are super good, too. Sour belts are good as well. They're not like... I feel like they're not as common in Canada. Like, I don't see them hanging around as much. But I do enjoy them. My mouth is literally watering now. Same. <laughs> so good. Ah, where am I going? There we go. Just dropping off some like wool and stuff. Just trying to do a little bit of maintenance. Snack drawer? You have a snack drawer? Okay, what's in what's in the snack drawer though? Please, please tell. I wanna know. I wanna know it all. I need a snack drawer, honestly. We kind of have like a snack spot in the kitchen, but like nothing substantial, I would say. There we go. My partner teases me because my favorite sweet and sour chicken is from a Chinese restaurant that makes it so vinegary. That's hardly sweet at all. Oh, that sounds delicious though. See, I love like vinegary stuff. That's that, like, that's my jam, you know? That is my jam. Salt and vinegar chicken, huh? Is it like... Oh, I'm gonna fall, aren't I? Oh, I'm good. Wait, is it like a cooked chicken that they do at like the hot bar and then they like... It's like salt and vinegar flavor? I've never heard of that, but that sounds amazing. Ooh, you have a ramen cabinet. That's also a must as well, for sure. Love a good ramen cabinet. We need to, uh, we need to like, um... Upgrade our ramen cabinet, actually. Ours is starting to get like a little bit uh, thinned out for sure. I'm gonna manually place some of these because why not? Because I can. We used to have like a lot of good ramens in our cabinet because we lived close to like this really good Korean market, but we do not live near that one anymore. But I'm gonna have to find a new market once we move for sure. All my go-to snacks are in my desk because the kids steal them. No, fair. I, I'd probably hide some too. Bueno, bueno bars are amazing. Those have to be one of the best chocolates. It's just like, the perfect texture, the perfect, like, balance. So good. Drawer, that's rookie levels. You need a snack cupboard. Absolutely. <laughs> you have sausage, Welsh cakes, jalapeno and cheese-coated peanuts. That sounds delicious. French fancies, cheddar and red onion kettle chips, sea salt, uh, crushed black pepper. What? Okay, the kettle chips. See, I'm, I'm all... I'm all about the chips. I am all about the chips. If I could just eat chips every day, I would, but it would make me sick. 
You're gonna have like 30 DMs for me, no worries. <laughs> it's all it's all relevant. It's all relevant. It's so one of your favorite things to do when you move somewhere new, find all the shops and stores. Literally, literally. That is always the most exciting part. Like kind of just like getting your footing in a place and discovering like all of the good stuff. Yeah, buenos are so good. I haven't had one in a hot minute though. Oh my gosh, Lisa. Lisa, holy, thank you so much for the 10. Thank you so, so much. That's really, really kind. I really appreciate it. How have you been, Drift? Hope is all good. Uh, hope all is good. Sorry late, but I went blonde to prep my hair for radiant purple color. Ooh, I hope I hope it all goes well. Good luck with the uh, with the hair dye. I hope I hope you enjoy it and I, I bet it's going to look so good. Glad to at least get here to the tail end of the stream. Oh, thank you so much for popping in. I'll show I'll um show you all what we've been building. We're pretty much just wrapping up now. And uh what was I going to say? We've been just like kind of hanging out in the stream world today. I built a bakery. Oops. So over in this little alleyway, I've got like a cute little bakery right here. So we've got like the little cake here and a little light. And then you come on in, we've got like the little bakery section underneath. So this is like the little cooking station with all the cakes. This is where we sell them. And then upstairs, I figured I'd just put like a house or like an apartment above it like this. So I actually really like this interior. I think it's actually really cozy. So it's got like a little kitchen, a little dining, and then a little uh, bedroom over here. And it's like super cute. I'm actually really ha like happy with it. Right now we're just like talking about food and kind of like cleaning up some stuff around the base because we're pretty much done with that build for today. You know your farm's good when it refills before you even close it, honestly. This thing's like too OP. I'm like, now that I've done the ancient city a bunch of times i'm like i'm never gonna use all of this it's wild it's such a useful farm let me try to like get at least a little bit of organization here even if it's just a bit just a smidge let's do this I know the pattern makes no sense, but as long as we can get like a couple rows so it's all feeding into it, it is fine. Oh gosh. There we go. That should be fine. Oh no, I don't want to fall. This is the world with all the cats. No, literally at this point, that's what this world should be called. The world with all the cats. Minecraft needs donuts for said bakery. Literally. Donuts, and you know what? I I would I would be happy if it had some like fancy like pies that we could put out, you know? Turned out great, thank you. I know, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It turned out super cute and cozy, and now I'm like, I feel like I can kind of envision the back part of that, um, the city part a little bit more. Might actually play a, mid, a little bit of Minecraft today. Let's go. What What are the plans for the craft? What would you do? Let's get some of this stuff put away. Yeah, I have more wool than I know what to do with. It is ridiculous. I will never use this all. Ooh, a rack of breads. The only problem is how do we do that? Because we can't place it, you know? Or wait. Oh wait, no, you can't put bread on a campfire. If you could, I would have. Did you use a specific tutorial for the farm? Yeah, the tutorial was called Azzy. <laughs> I did that Azzy taught me that one on stream. Honestly, are you talking about the sheep farm though? Because that one was uh done on stream and Azzy literally walked me through it um when we built it. But I feel like there's gotta be some like easy tutorials to follow for a sheep farm because they're honestly like pretty simple in terms of how to build them out it's just why basically wiring the observers and like the thing to shear it
What's your favorite build in this world so far? That's a good question. Honestly, I think my favorite world has to be this area. Specifically, like, the interior where my storage is. I think this one is. Just because I use it so much, it's actually super functional, like, being able to fly down in there. And I really like how each room is, like, kind of different. I think this one has to be my favorite. I still need to fix up the hallway. But I even like this little, like, mini storage area. I use it so much, and it's just, like... It feels like a cozy little spot now, you know? King! How's it going? So nice to see ya. Yeah, the chest organization right now is pretty bad. Petition to name the world the world with all the cats in it. Honestly, at this point, I feel like that should be its, like, unofficial name. Fresh clay balls as dough. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. You've done it again. So smart. Can I do invisible item frames in this world? I feel like I could technically give them to myself, right? Because I'd like to, like, maybe... Maybe I could do that. Because I would love to, just to be able to decorate a little bit more, because I just hate how it looks when you have, like, an item frame on a table and it's just sitting there with, like, something on top of it. But then again, I guess maybe, like, if you did... Hold on a second. Dun, dun, dun. Hold on, hear me out. Your video building the sheep farm was the best tutorial. I watched it and it worked perfectly. Oh my god, really? Heck yeah, that makes me so happy. Are you talking about the, the one in the chill survival, right? I felt like I skimmed too much on that one. And I was like, I feel, I hope it makes sense. Like what I'm trying to like explain here. So I'm glad like it actually helped people out. I call the other world the world with all the windmills. Literally. So many windmills. And for, for what? All of the wind in Minecraft, huh? Let's give item frame entity tag invisible. I almost feel like I should just like... I could just enable... Like if you open up to land, I think I can just enable cheats and do that. You know what I mean? Just give myself like a hundred of them. Because at this point I'm like, I just want to decorate, you know? Because if we do it like this... It just doesn't have the same effect. It doesn't have the same effect. It was a perfect balance. I built it a few times now. Let's go. Let's go. I'm glad. What if they added wind to Minecraft? It's so funny because if they added wind to Minecraft, I'd be like, that is the last thing you should be adding. <laughs> like, what does this do for anybody? <laughs> what does that do for anyone? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I could always add a texture pack, too. That's true. I wouldn't have to worry about mods then. I could just use, like, a, a pack. I have to do that, honestly. All right, chat. I hate to do it, but I feel like this is probably the... Oh, my gosh, it's almost 4 o'clock already. What? Time really flew by. We've, we've been live for almost four hours. All right. Should we wrap things up today? I've got to do a little bit of stuff around the house. So I think this is a good time to wrap things up. Um, I'm currently working on a 100 days. I'm kind of almost done, I would say. I'm going to try to work on that throughout the week um, and hope to get that up before I move. No guarantees, though. We'll see how it goes. I'm nearly there, but if I get it done this week, there will be a video this week. If I don't, then there will probably be a video. Let me look at Hold on. The calendar. There will probably be a video... I'm hoping next week, once I get my internet set up at the new place. But, I mean, if all goes well as well with all the moving stuff, if I can fit another stream in this week, because uh, I'm not going to have a video, I'm going to try to do that. But if not, uh, I'll see you all probably sometime next week, hopefully later in the week when I get my internet set back up, uh, all of that stuff. We're going to be moving this week, so going to have like a little bit of blip in content, if you know what I mean. Gonna have a little, little, little gap in content. But with that being said, 
thank you so much everybody for hanging out with me today i really really appreciate it i had so much fun this was super chill super fun i'll keep you all updated on what's going on with like the move and all of the content and stuff in the discord and i guess with that i'll, I'll see you i'll see you whenever we we see each other again thank you so much everybody for hanging out today and also thank you so much lisa for the super chat and all that stuff i really really appreciate it and i will catch you all soon all right everybody have a have a wonderful week have a safe and wonderful week see you later cannot wait to see you again bye everybody